when actually all is not well. Your heart can be excusing you, saying, I'm not involved. Ah, before I came here, I already examined myself. I've already settled myself. So nothing is happening to me. I'm not part of what they're saying. It's a, deceit. It's, it's a deceit. That's what the heart can do. As a result, instead of paying attention, and speaking like the psalmist, examine me, O Lord, and know my ways. And see if there be any wicked thing in me. You will not say so. You say, I've settled. God, you know I've settled with you. So I don't have any problem. Deception of the heart. Instead of saying, that which I know not, teach thou me. If I have done iniquity, I will do it no more. No, your heart deceives you and say, which iniquity? Deception the heart. Many go to hell and wonder why they are there. Because the heart deceived them. You think that the people who are in these other churches, you think they know that they are, they are sinners? Do you think that their pastors themselves know that they're not on the way? Many of them, even in sin in their lives, their hearts have been put in a condition is not, is not near the kingdom of God. But the heart has deceived him. The heart has deceived him. I'm saying so you can't be here with a deceived heart. Instead of allowing God to search you, instead of accepting your sins, accepting the revelations of God about you, you will say, no, I'm not the one. And you go here empty. And the time of your cleansing passes away. When will you find the time again? When will God organize a conference like this for you again? That your heart is deceiving you and you are agreeing. You must plead against deception. And this deception shall increase in the, in the later times. Take heed that ye be not deceived. Take heed. Be careful that this heart does not deceive you. The heart is the, is, is, is the container that receives information. Be careful that nobody gives you a deceptive information. That you are here, you are sitting with deception. Your heart has been deceived. Be careful that no man deceive you. Now, the heart is deceitful above all things. Number one seat of deception. Your eyes can deceive you, but because you see somebody, you thought it was this. No, it's not that person. Uh, you know, you, are, uh, you agree to that. You look at something, you think you're seeing this, but you came to discover it's not like that. Oh, so my eyes were deceiving me. The heart is above the eyes in deception. The eyes, the deception of your eyes does not equal to the deception. You'll be saying, this is not the place. Your heart is telling you, this is not the place. Which Christianity am I seeing here? Deception of your heart. I'm telling you, it's a, it's decep it's, it's a, it's, it's, it's a place, a container that receives deception. Be careful. Otherwise, where are you going to go again? All this while, the Lord brought you here. But the heart is trying to reject it. That is not here. This is not the place. Yes, 
deception. Now, again, it goes. The heart is, dis- is deceitful above all things and desperately wicked. The wickedness of the heart is in a great percentage. Desperately. Desperate comes from the word despair. Despair comes from the word discourage. So, it is wicked to the point of discouragement. I'm telling you, your heart is wicked to the point that you are discouraged. What can I do? I can't do anything. I can't do anything. I've been like this. I want to change, but I've not been able to change. So what will I do? You are at a point of despair. And that's actually the state of your heart. You don't know what to do again. How many conferences have you been coming to? How many preachings have you had? You are in a place, at a point, you say, woe is me. This hellfire is meant for me. I can do nothing about it. But then the Lord says, see it. The heart is deceitful above all things and desperately wicked. Who can know it? Not even you. No human being. Even these people that can induce information from you can really not know the full state of the heart. Who can know it? Who, who would have told you that you can do that thing? Who would have told you that that circumstance will just weaken you? Who would have told you that that man's voice will take away all energy from your life? You? After you have said, I can't do this again. Who would have told you that this man will just Come before you and you, all your strength is gone. You follow him like a sheep going for the slaughter. It's after, it, after all this commitment. Is it me? That's the state of your heart. That's why God says, give me your heart. I will work on it. That's why God came himself to handle the case of your heart. That's why, please give it to him and surrender. Because you, can't, you don't know the depths of that heart. You don't know what Satan built into that heart. That, and God says, if every man according to his ways and according to the fruit of his do, there are things you pretend, but I know the real thing, real situation. There are things you do and forget. I don't forget. I know the corner it is kept hidden in your heart. There are things you do and you don't understand, but I understand. I understand. So, my dear sister, bring your heart. My daughter, give me your heart. Spiritually wicked. Only God knows what is the action of the tongue in words and expression that can be understood. But even that, is it everything the tongue says that the heart actually has its own compartment? The thing that the tongue is saying, <laughs> do I even say that the heart deceives the tongue? Because of its state, the tongue is saying what the heart is not really saying. Because it is a wicked place. However, the tongue, since it's connected to the heart, reveals the state of the heart in a greater percentage. Yes. That is what we need to understand. 
The heart is the seat of sin. All manner of sins start from the heart. 23. And he said, that which cometh out of the man, that defileth the man. For from with adultery, covetousness, wickedness, deceit, lasciviousness, and evil are. Blasphemy, pride, foolishness, all these evil things Come from within and defile the man. The speaking sins originate from the defilement is working great to hinder your being a member, a true participant in a holy church. This tongue that defiles you does not allow you to be a mother in the holy church. It does not allow you to be a real sister. It does not allow the men to be real brothers and fathers because of defilement. And God wants to handle it. And it is my prayer he will succeed in your life. Amen. In Jesus' name. Amen. What are the sins of the chapter 12? Verse 34. What are the sins of the tongue? Matthew 12, 34. Oh, generation of vipers. All generation of vipers. I say, eh. If all these women gathered here are vipers in Horemo, trouble is, we are in trouble. How then do we move? You bite one another. You cut one another. You wound one another. You offend one another. You blaspheme God. You curse God. Hey! But Jesus called a people like that more than you in number. A generation. A generation. Great number of people. He said they are, they are viper. Your heart. The state of your heart cannot speak good things. What does your heart speak? Eyes. In Proverbs. And you see, that is what your heart can make your heart, your mouth to speak. Verse 16, Proverbs chapter 6. These six things that the Lord hate, yet seven are an abomination unto him. A proud look. A lying tongue. Can you see what a heart can? I'm talking about the sins of speaking. A proud look is the sin of appearance. You just look, you are greater than these people. I'm superior, no more than you. But I'm talking about the lie, the sin of the tongue. Speaking sin. Lying tongue. You don't know when you have lied. Actually, you yourself. Boom! You say, hey. That is how your own lie is. How you want to control your tongue before you do it, lie has come out. That's the state of your heart. Lying tongue. Your tongue is there for lying. Your tongue is there for lying. Ye are of your father the devil. The deeds of your father ye will do. For he was a murderer from the beginning and abides not in the truth. He is a liar and the father of it. If now, 
Who is your father? Yes. But you are in the church. Does Satan father so much? That is it. That is the spirit of Satan. The Lord wants you to cut off from Satan today. Cut off from Satan. But God has to help you. Seek the help of God to cut off from Satan today. Your tongue shall not lie. I am purposed that my lips shall not transgress. Make up your mind so. Lying tongue. Let's continue. Yes. Verse 17. A proud look, a lying tongue, and hands that shed innocent blood, a, and heart that devised wicked imaginations. Hmm. Can you see? This heart sits down and imagines what to do and what to say to the hands and to the feet. Or to the eyes. But the thing for weight, it transfers to the tongue. Sit down and imagine evil. All these armed robbers, robbers that are going about, they have their masters that sit at home and teach them how to do it. They do and come and give him account. They bring those things stolen to him. He's the one that shares. He sits down. So your heart sits down. To imagine the next thing to say to that person. The next thing to say to that The next thing to say in defense of yourself. You said this. Which one do I say again? You said this. Which one do I say again? You said this. And you have been living in a lie. It goes. And heart that devises wicked imaginations. Feet that be swift in running to mischief. That speaketh lies, and he soweth discord among brethren, is the work of the tongue, a false witness. You were not there, but you say I was there, to, because either they paid you, or you want to justify somebody that is in your group, or you want to show somebody I am for you. I will protect you. And so, you gave a false witness to justify that person, to set that person free. And look at this one. He goes about to sow discords among brethren. She would tell Sister A this and go to Sister B and say, do you know really what Sister A is planning for you? And that gives them joy to go about sowing discord and see how they affect the church by hitting sisters together, hitting leadership and members together. That's their job. It is a sin, so it's sweet to them. It makes life fine. It gives her favor from Sister A and Sister B because they will all be looking at her as a good person. But that is for a moment. A lying tongue is for a moment. When you are discovered, you never. But this is it. Lying tongue. It's still in the same category. It is at the bar. You can't say it in the presence of that person. You can't say it. That is why we are always saying don't condemn a person until you have occasion to hear the other side of the matter. Because of these people, they will come and tell you something, tell you their lies to, po to put poison into your heart against your sister. Against your brother, against the and you have not verified. Many of you are seated here in this sin. The sin of the Pharisees that want to kill Jesus. Go and bring him. 
What has he done? Nicodemus asked them, How can your, does your law condemn a person unless it has hurt him? Does your law condemn a person without hearing his side? But you have condemned the backbiter that came at the back of that person and told you stories and you believed that person without hearing the other side. And now, see the way your heart is towards that person. You are not talking together. You are not greeting me as a hypocrite. I don't, want, I don't want hypocrites on my way. You don't even want to sit where she's sitting. The Lord will judge you. Why are you condemning my servant? Why are you condemning he that is righteous? More righteous than you. Again, it is not according to the law of the Romans. Even the hidden nation know about this moral, about this truth. To have a person condemned until he has occasion to speak face to face with his adversary. You can't just come up and say, hey, this woman is a witch. And we shall be hearing you. No. No, you must come before that person and say why you say so. Do you have the courage to say it? If you don't have the courage, hold your peace. Because we cannot condemn a person without having him and those who destroy the righteousness of God. They will destroy the peace of Christ in his church deceitful tongue what can be given to you in psalm one yes what shall be given unto thee or what or what shall be done unto thee deceitful is false what he is seen in this world people eat various kinds of meats there are people that eat cows. There are those that eat. You say you find him eating cockroach very happily. Say, eh? Come, what? Tell, don't tell me that. So there are different kinds of sins people take pleasure in committing. Your own is this. Her own is this. His own is this. Their own is this. You go about them, go around them, and they prophesy false things for you. They tell you things that are not. And to make their business serious, they consult demons. They use powers that make you believe. They get some things into their mouth, into their tongue. They formulate the, the place where you go to meet them and build in some strange spirits into such environment. It's false. Somebody wants to marry a woman and then you send an information to that person because you don't want him to marry her and begin to say false things about the sister false things and if the person is unmature to take it to god in prayer to inquire further the bible says in a multitude of counselors there's safety if he cannot go further he takes from you and that's how it ends the good thing he would do he won't do it again because of false information yes yeah. Deceiving people into wrong actions. Deceiving people into wrong beliefs. And the people are there, ready to be deceived. But the Lord wants you. Be careful that ye be not deceived. Let no man deceive you. Ye shall know the truth if you continue in my word. And the truth shall make you free. You won't be deceived any longer. You will not. 
All these people that say, bring money, we will do like that for you. We will go and fast. Sins of the tongue. Poisonous tongue. Sharp arrows of the mighty. Sharp as spear. That's how the weights are. You look for weights that will cause your mother to regret that she gave birth to you. You look for weights that will cause your husband to feel terrible. Feel that you are nobody. What you look for weights? What ways? The man that is to marry me is still looking for me. I made a mistake to come to you. Life with you. Now that you say the man is still looking for you, what do you people do together? What do you now do together? When do you meet with yourself? Since he is not fit for you, a better man is there and that man is still interested in you. Age. Sharp words, hard words that cannot, the person cannot be delivered. Or oh, the way you talk to your child, as you are, nothing in this life that you will do will prosper. The boy, until the judgment day, every idle word that you speak, that brings confusion to a man. Confusion to a church. Confusion to a society. Confusion to your family. Confusion to your children. You will be just on the end time, at the end time, because you distorted their life by deceitful ways. Ways that have false ways. That is the one they're using now. What about those people who said the disciples of Jesus came and carried him in the night? And the Bible is saying that this is what is being said up to this day. To deny crucifixion and generated those words. He has distorted the cause of God. He has bent the truth of Christ. To the fall of humanity. Yes. Evil tongue. An angry or raging tongue. You are angry. But sin not. Neither give. Always quarrelsome. Always quarrelsome. That's why your husband cannot stay with you in the house. Because quarreling. This one is not there. This one is not there. He has done this. Other men are better than him. This, this one like this. This one like this. The man has to be coming in the night. When you are sleeping. Because of your tongue. The sins of the tongue. The sins. Speak words and not bother what you are saying. Not even to talk about being a woman leader. Being a, a pastor. A leader in the church. No, you are not born again. By the words you speak when you are angry, by your facial appearance, a child of God can be angry, but not this sin. Soup spoiled by some other thing. You can't eat it anymore. Some smells have come out of it. It has been contaminated. That's how your tongue is. Contaminated. Contaminated. Something that the lawyer's profession is to speak lies. No. Is to speak truth. Look, the truth and not lies. Not lies. It's sinful law. Holy lawyers tell the truth and the truth will normally overcome lies. It is the truth that brings mercy. If you want God to come into the, the issue and arrest it and overcome it and show mercy to the sinner and justify the, 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 the righteous, speak the truth. The truth is a spirit. It will work on those who hear it. Convince the people of your lie that you are sincere. 
that if you were not sincere, how could you have spoken this truth? Yes, yeah. flattery tongue. Flattery tongue. Job said, I am determined that my tongue shall not give flattery titles to people. Flattery. A person has done wrong. Why not pray to correct him or correct her? You come and say, nobody is like you. You are just the best person in the world. In fact, you are the right person. It's flattering. Man. When you go to other people, you say, when I went to tell him or tell her that she's the best person, I said, well, she was bending her head. I said, yeah, yeah. You see, you have a flattering tongue. How can you correct somebody? How can you perfect somebody? How can you raise up somebody for Jesus? How will you correct Peter so that righteousness should return to the church if you are the one with flattery tongue? So, but I say the heart is the center that bubbles up these lies to the tongue. The heart. Let me say comment on this. Wives, do you know your husband is discouraged at knowing at you because you don't tell the truth? Home price is above the market itself. The one you give, the one you say you have bought, is above actual market situation. Your husband got... But what will he tell you now? Just to prove which woman do I have. How will life be? Which perfect love are you expecting? How do you drink the water that you have steered? Muddy. How do you drink it to me? I want to change them. I want to give them a new life. I mean to go to heaven too. And I want her to be among them. That's why you're here. It's sinful tongue. Genesis chapter 6, verse 5 and 6. Genesis chapter 6, verse 5 and verse 6. And God saw that the wickedness of man was great in the earth and that every imagination and it repented the Lord that he had made man on the earth. And it grieved him at his heart. Every imagination of the thoughts of his heart was only evil continually. The heart is evil. That is why. Your tongue is evil. Why? Your tongue is evil. And that, that God repents of giving you a place in his church. God is sorry that he gave you as a wife to that man. Because of an evil heart. The tongue cannot speak well. You abuse without bothering. Abuse your husband. And God regrets for creating these kinds of people. But his mercy has planned their salvation. You will be saved. Yeah. And that there be not a thought in thy wicked heart. This heart can shut up itself from doing good to somebody. Whatever is the condition of that man. I won't do it. I won't give that money. I won't give him the food. I won't visit him. That sins, have you forgiven it? When you met the sister here, did you greet him, greet her? Is it not the offense of 10 years? It may not even be a personal offense, tribal offense, family offense. The heart. Beware of that wicked heart. 
That's a wicked no more relationship forever. No more forever. You can't lay it aside again. I'm telling you the state of heart that produces those weights that come out from the tongue. Yeah, full heart. Leviticus chapter 19, verse 19, verse 17. Hit. Thou shalt in any wise rebuke thy brother and not suffer sin upon him. You are by cutting. You avoid him. That's what the Bible says. And any way again Deuteronomy chapter 11 verse 16 Yes. Take heed to yourselves that your heart be not deceived and yet turn aside and serve other gods and worship them. For you to go this far, it will require deception. Deceived. Somebody else planned deception for you. Joshua fell victim to this. Yes. Queen, the people who were among them to be destroyed, cleared out of the land, came to Joshua and said, see our feet. Dusty were coming from a far distance. Look at the food that come along with us. It has become grown with mockers. It's many days journey to come and make peace with you. He examined this thing and did them. Your heart has been deceived. That is why you are calling evil good. Your heart has been deceived. That is why you are calling good evil. Your heart has been deceived. God brought you to a holy church like this. Already some people have spoken to you to get you out of it. And you are preparing. I will not stay long. I will not stay long. Deceived heart. Deceived heart. It's outside there. And coming back becomes impossible. You will mourn for your life. You will say, oh, fearful heart. Chapter 20, from verse 1, the Bible tells us, the case of Abraham and Sarah, it was fear that caused it. Then, toward the sun in the morning, and called all his servants, and told all these things in their ears. And the men were so afraid. Then Abimelech called Abraham and said unto him, What hast thou done unto us? And what have I offended thee that thou hast brought on me and on my kingdom a great sin? Thou hast done this unto me. Thou hast done this thing. And Abraham said, Because I thought, Surely the fear of God is not in this place. And they will slay me. For my wife's sake. Can you see? That is all. Fear. Thought, thought. I'm afraid. Let them not say I'm not doing anything here. Can you see? What caused you to lie? Fear. I was afraid. I was afraid. A fearful heart commits sin. A fearful heart. Abraham, the Lord called you that he will be with you. The Lord says, between you and Sarah, even when you talk about going to be a child between you and Sarah, and you are thinking they will kill you for Sarah, this God, do you know, you are undermining his words. 
ways of defending yourself. You have other ways of keeping yourself. You have other ways of getting advantage apart from God. This fearful heart is what makes the tongue speak lies. It's what makes the tongue to err. I'm telling you so that let's go to the real place and get your life cleansed up. Get your life healed. Heart. Deceitful heart. Um, fearful heart. His son. If you even see how God promised Isaac. The place one. Yeah. From verse one. To verse 11. Yes. It goes. And there was a famine in the land. Beside the famine unto Abimelech king of the Philistines. Unto Gerard. And the Lord appeared unto him and said. Go not down into Egypt. Dwell in the land which I shall tell thee of. Sojourn in this land. And I will be with thee. And will bless father. And I will make thy seed because that Abraham obeyed my voice and kept my charge my commandments my statutes and my laws and Isaac dwelt in Gera now can you see the voice of God the promise of God to Isaac Egypt was the center of wealth of civilization of power Let's say it is like America. So, people will always want to go to Egypt if there were if there were problems, problems around them. They would want to go to Egypt. So, because of the starvation, Isaac was already planning to go to Egypt to sojourn there. The Lord said, "Don't go to Egypt. Stay here. I'm going to take care of you. I'm going to bless you." I'm going to bring the blessings of Abraham upon you. I'm going to multiply you exceedingly. Yes. What do you learn from here? People think that the best place is America. Every time I'm going to America. Or I'm going to uh, UK. I'm going to this. It's not everybody that goes there. It's not everybody that God, it is God's will for them to go there. Where you are, God will deal well with you. Where you are. Sometimes going to those places confuses life. You go to desert because God didn't ask you to go there. It is God that prospers, not a country. It is God that prospers, not a city. Prospers, not, not current. But see it now. In verse 6. Dwelt in Gera. He feared to say, She is my wife. Lest, said he, the men of the place should kill me for Rebecca because she was fear to look upon. <sighs> Come beside beauty is the, is the woman that feared the Lord that should be praised. And that woman that feared the Lord, however beautiful she is, people are not looking. Because of the name of the Lord she bears. Please tell your husband to be peaceful with you. Amen? Amen. But there is where you fearing. After God has said, I am with you. I will keep you. I sing actions. Is this fearful heart that leads to fear, sinful ways to defend yourself, to protect yourself, they didn't even come to marry Rebecca. They just say, who is this? Say is my wife. Mm -mm. Now, it was Abimelech who discovered it by himself. Yeah. Look at it in verse 8. And it came to pass with a long time that Abimelech king of the Philistines looked out at the window and saw and behold, Isaac was sporting with Rebecca his wife. Abimelech was in story building. 
and looked down and saw through the window the man was fumbling with eh? Then Abimelech called Isaac and said, Behold, of a surety she is thy wife. And how seest thou she is my sister? My brethren, in your mouth. God is with you, my sister. Sinners, your relations are your mouth to disgrace God. To disgrace the gospel. Why? Your mother is the living God has made promise. Is he a liar? Is God a liar that says he will marry? Why do you falsify? falsify? If that man comes of God, tell him you are 43, he will still marry you. Because God sent him. Why are you telling these lies? A virgin, where you are not. Virgin. And when he marries you, you are not. It, it, the, your test will vanish from liar. Liar. This. Women, why are you doing like this? God can. And is here himself to change him to change you. Plead with him. I mean, plead. Promise him. You won't go a liar any longer. You have no. Have you changed? Have you shown him clearly the program is working in your life? To make him encouraged to sponsor you or allow you. One good turn. Tell me the rest. Have you ever given him a good turn? Oh Lord divine. Let the husbands know that this one is the good turn. Wants you to know. Yes. Unbelieving heart. Unbelieving. I read. The Bible says. Seeing therefore. It remained that. Some must. The heart. Doesn't. No. The heart. Of. Not to you. Because you, don't, you are not a believer. You are not a believer. You have not believed. Did they believe? Or did they? Because he said it. They would have known that God has given the international director the word of life. In this world. They would have known it because the Lord has said it many times. But the deceitfulness of sin. Come, some of these women didn't sing in the choir. One person, one of them I was told, according to them, tell us, when were you born again? I was born again and you are in this church. With writing books, you are not reading them. We teach your ears in 1995. Is it in this church? I baptize you in the name of the Father and of the water. Come up. Yes. In the name of the Holy Ghost, let's go back. How many times does a person die? How many times does a person die? How many times does, did Jesus die? Be identi- Baptism is identifying things have been going on here. Why are you not hearing them? Themselves. Now many of you here is in the, the same condition. That baptism. He that believeth and is baptized shall be plus and baptized. But you say you believe and you're not baptized correctly. And get the seed buried on the ground before the birds of the air come to pick them from you. Get this thing done. Get your life settled. Get your heart cleansed. Get your life Correct these things and be a correct woman, a correct person. That is what we're saying. The Lord said, Come, I'll do it for you. I'll take it with a stony heart out of your flesh. I'll give you a new heart. And 
it will inform your new it will inform your tongue you will have a new tongue finally restitution we we'll have we will hear the detail of it tomorrow but you have spoken many things now you and your sister are not talking you and your bro- your husband even are not talking you're not even meeting together as husband and wife your weight sank in and weary weight indeed they kill his body in the house he said my husband doesn't bother about me from where since and apologize for those weights proud weights high sounding weights of tinkling cymbal because of empty calm go and apologize humble down before God breaks humble down and go and apologize go settle it now enjoy Let's read verse 7 together. One, two, go. Job. God said, I shall announce you that you, you are for hell because of the misuse of your tongue. The tongue is a little member, but it is set on the fire of hell. What a great grass, substance, a little fire can Burn down. So is the tongue. As it's little in your mouth, it has done great damage. That the God of heaven is angry with you. You have hindered peace in society. You have told practical lies. Many that left the churches by you. They'll also go and tell them, I'm angry. Yeah. My wrath is kindled against thee and against thy two friends. He is angry with what you, that company is doing. That group of people, gr- angry with that group. Yeah, you're busting yourself there and say you're righteous. Busting yourself there and say, ah, me, 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 we, ah, we. He said, for you, my sister, your comfort and comforter is on the way. Amen. You were right. But it as my servant job heart. Therefore, take unto you now. Offer up for yourselves a burnt offering. And my servant job shall pray for you. For him will I accept. Let I deal with you. After your folly. In that ye have not spoken of me. The things which is right. Like my servant Job do, do, did. Yes. He said, God, actually when I noticed that it was not true, I have been fasting before you. He said, fast until you die. You will go to hell. You, because if a man strives for the mastery, he must strive lawfully. If you want man, although you sinned against God, you apologize to God, but go to that man. Let the man be comforted that you have realized your error. Let the man know that your proud being has been humbled. That you have come to humility. It will comfort him. Take a bowl of go, go to him. He is the one to pray for you that I will hear. Don't go to another person. Go to him. Don't pray to me. I say you go to him. I saw my sister, people are coming to apologize. Receive them with love. Receive them with happiness. Don't go and toughen yourself to them. Eh, eh, it's now you know. Go, and, if, go with humble yourself and bless them fully with all your heart. Forgive them. Because God wants relationship. This work, we must do it together. The righteous are few. Why should the devil destroy the few righteous we even have? Help, Lord, for the godly woman seized. 
Godly women are going away because of the tongue. Apologize to one another. Do it in this conference. Don't be tough to her when she comes to apologize. She's not an angel. She's not an angel. She's a man subject to us wrong whoever she is except she's not ready for heaven if she's not ready leave her as a publican as a publican as a hidden man let her alone she's not a believer just as you let sinners alone hello <laughs> to come to you and do resuscitation hello I say go back to your sister and do restitution for the bad words you have spoken. The Lord says so. Everybody say, Jesus, thank you. Jesus, thank you. We have heard you. We, have heard. we will do like that. Do like Rise up upon Go, you, when you go home, go and do Confess everything before your husband. Let time everything. The things he doesn't even know. Confess your sins according to the teaching we have given you here. And let your husband know that you are a new person. Love will, will bubble in that family. Love will spread in that family. Hallelujah. Thank you, Father. Worship you, Lord. I give glory to Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. God has some sin. Pay good attention, for God has something to say. He has told you. Do restitution. Restitution I'm in your way Do it humbly Don't do it proudly Humbly Bring down yourself He that bring He that humble himself shall be exalted You are going to apologize one to another. To your relations. If you do it by telephone, do it by phone. And let your, discipline yourself and let your tongue learn its lesson. Reject wicked heart. Reject evil heart. Tell God to heal you. Tell God to sanctify you. Tell God. Father, we thank you. We give you praise. We worship you. We honor you for your word that has come. Be glorified. In Jesus' mighty name, we pray. And so, our gracious Father, we thank you for your word that has come. 
Lord, we give you praise because your word has sanctified us. Lord, even as we go to carry out our restitution, it shall be perfectly done in Jesus' name. Grace to do it without fear. Lord, we receive now in Jesus' name. Thank you for the purging that has started. Be glorified. Thank you, Son of God. In Jesus' precious name, we pray. Shout a better amen. And please take your seat. In a moment, we shall be going for our group prayers. And uh, I'd like to quickly read to us our groups. If you have registered, and I know you have all registered. Is that true? Please, if you have not registered, ensure you register. It's very important that you register in this conference. It's very important. Please. If you check your, book, uh, pre, um, your booklet, your conference booklet, pick it up and check it now. There's a number there. That is the group you belong to. That is your group. All through this conference, you belong to all through the conference. So we'll be going for our group prayers. We'll be praying for the, the first group is by my right hand side here. That's group one. And that will be taken by Sister Imume Jacko. Please just forgive me if I cannot pronounce it very well. Sister Imume Jacko. The group one will be here. Just here by my right hand side. Then group two will be at the overseer stand. Just by my left hand side here. And that will be anchored by Sister Apura. Then at the back, or just by the right side of the media. And that will be anchored by Sister Chesson. Sister Chesson, you are to anchor group. And that will be anchored by Sister Umo. Then group five. Under the mango tree towards the entrance gate. There's a mango tree towards the entrance gate here. That's where the group five will be having their prayers. And that will be anchored by Sister Amabosi. Sister Amabosi, you are to anchor group five under the mango tree towards the entrance gate. Then hostel. Just in front of the Akula hostel. That's where group six will be having their prayers. And that will be anchored by Sister Agodo. Then group seven, and that will be anchored by Sister Elvis. Group eight, by the prayer warrior's tent at the entrance gate, there's a canopy. There's a canopy just after the block industry. That's where group eight will be having their, their prayer session. And that will be anchored by Sister Lillian Glory. Then group nine, by the water fountain, just behind this auditorium, we have the water fountain there. Group nine will be having their prayers there, and that will be anchored by Sister Joshua Ibrahim. Then group 10, near the bakery, between the bakery and the welders, um, welders uh, workshop, and that will be anchored by Sister Joy Alex. Praise the Lord. I say, praise the Lord. Just listen one more time. I'll quickly run through it in the next one minute. The prayer leaders, you already know your groups. Location for group one. By the choir stand, just by my right hand side here. Group two, by the overseer stand, just by my left hand side here. Then group three, back of the hall, just in front of the media stand, by my right hand. Then Group, that's group three, sorry. Group four, at the back of the hall, this way. Group five, then the mango tree towards the entrance gate. Group six, towards the mango tree in front of the aquila. There's another mango tree over there. Then group seven, under the cash, cashew tree. Group eight, prayer warrior's tent. There's a canopy just in front of the 
um, block industry, group 9 by the water fountain, and group 10 in between the bakery and the welder's workshop. I think we can go now. We have just one hour. One hour. By 12.50, we should all return back here. By 12.50. Please. Please. To scatter the, the hole. There are some seats parked at the entrance gate there. Pick those ones. We have some extra seats, please. Let the church be well arranged. Please. Don't go with your seats. By 150, no? By 150. Sorry. Thank you very much. Return back by 150. Those who bought books during break you and you have change. You go to the bookshop, you be have you to collect your change. Those who don't have numbers written at the back of your booklet, join any group close to you. If you have not registered, ensure you do so for righteousness sake, please. We have enough seats, some outside and some by the entrance gate. Don't pick any of the chairs within the auditorium, please. We have excess seats just by the entrance gate. Some are outside. Just pick one and go. If you must sit down during the prayer session. But ideally, please, media, get the your device is close to please all prayer leaders release 10 minutes to 2. If you have registered and there's no number at the back.
to pray your faith. Will not be polluting west as holy women.
Give me the grace, Lord, to seek you first. Jesus, give me the grace to seek heaven, to seek your kingdom, to seek your righteousness, to seek your truth. I am praying for your grace. Open your mouth and pray. Tell the Lord to give you grace to seek the things that are above. Jesus, give me grace to seek the things that are above. Jesus, give me the grace. So seek the things that are above. Open your mouth and pray. Jesus, I want to seek the things that are above. Not the things on this earth. Because this earth will pass away. Jesus, give me grace. So seek the things that are above. So seek your kingdom. So seek your kingdom. So seek your glory. I want to be in your kingdom, Lord. Jesus. Open your mouth and pray and cry to the Lord. Jesus, give me the grace. So seek the things that are above. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Verse 4 say, He said, when Christ, who is our life, shall appear, then shall ye also appear with him in glory. For you to appear with Jesus, in glory, you need to put all these things to death in your life. The Bible says, verse 5, it says, Mortify therefore your members which are upon the earth, fornication, uncleanness, inordinate affection, evil concupiscence, and covetous, which is idolatry. Say, for which thing's sake, the wrath of God cometh on the children of disobedience. We are going to pray. Open your mouth and pray. The prayer we are going to pray now, because we want to enter heaven. We will not just better, see, me, me, I'm a businesswoman. I lock my shop now for how many days? I lock my shop because of what? Because of heaven. The time for the time for work, God, God's work. I lock my shop. I lock because it is better for me to go to heaven than you can't money. The money when you die, can you carry them along? My shop is locked. We are going to cry to God. The Bible says we should mortify all these things. We are going to pray. Say the Lord, whatsoever that will hinder me, all these things that I've counted, you know them. You know the life you live. Say them to the Lord. He's here, he's hearing you. If you pray sincerely from your heart, the Lord will wear you a crown. That should that the, the Lord reveal that he, he wore on that woman, you are the woman. You are the woman. He will wear you that, God, that glorious shoe. Your life will be transformed in the name of Jesus. But before you can wear that shoe, you must pay a price. And this is the price we are, praying, we, are playing, we are paying now. By praying. By sitting at the feet of Jesus Christ. We are going to cry to him. Every of our members that are defied. You know yourself. You know the life you live. Begin to cry to God. Tell the Lord to cleanse you. Tell the Lord to take away every filthiness. Anything that is seen, you know that God should put you. So that you can be able to receive the blessing of God. He said the prayer of a sinner man will not hear. For God to release this blessing that he has brought for this conference. Pray and tell the Lord, every uncleanness in my life, Jesus, take them away. Every filthiness in my life, Jesus, take them away. I want to receive your blessing in this conference, Lord Jesus. Oh Lord, my Father, Jesus, I put to death. I put to death every uncleanness, every unrighteousness, every sin. In my life, every idolatry, everything that is not of God, Jesus, I put you first in my life. Open your mouth and pray, Jesus. Jesus. Pray and cry to the Lord. Pray and tell the Lord, Jesus, I don't want the wrath of God to come upon me. Because if you continue in sin and you die in sin, the wrath of God is waiting. Pray and tell the Lord, I don't want the wrath of God to come upon me. Jesus, purify me in this conference. Jesus, make me holy in this conference. Jesus, rewrite my name in the book of life. And that. Lord Jesus, I am praying. Write my name. Write my name. Write my name. Write my name in the book of life. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus.
Jesus. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Oh Lord, my Father, put to death every uncleanness from my life. Put to death every uncleanness from my life. Every unrighteousness, every filthiness, every defilement, every evil works, whatsoever that is not of God, walking contrary against my life. Don't take me, my soul to hell. Jesus, remove it, Lord. Jesus, take it away. Jesus, cleanse me. Jesus, prove me. Jesus, make me holy. Jesus, make me whole. In the name of Jesus. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Verse 8. Let me start to read from verse 7. He said, In the wish ye also walk some time when ye live in them. Verse 8. He said, But now ye also put off all this anger, wrath, malice, filthy communication out of thy mouth. He said, Lie not one to another, seeing that ye have put off the old man with his deeds and I put on the new man the image of him that created him he said we are yes neither Greek variants and no free but Christ is all and in uh, all say put on therefore as the left Christ holy and, and beloved boys of mercy kindness humbleness of mind meekness long suffering forbearing one another and forgiving one another if any man have a quarry against any even as Christ forgive you, so also do ye. This is all the summary of our teaching today. Praise the Lord. Praise Master Jesus. You are going to cry to God. Tell the Lord to put on me. Tell the Lord, put on me the new man. The new man that walk in righteousness. The new man that walk in holiness. The new woman. I want to be a new brand man. A, a man is the gender of a human being. You are, you are called man. Even you are a woman. Tell the Lord to put on you. That new brand man, you want to be a new woman, put it on the word of God, put it on the righteousness of God, open your mouth and pray, tell the Lord to put on you, that new nature, the holy nature. Jesus put on me, Jesus put on me. The brand new nature of yours. I want to carry your nature. I want to carry your glory. I want to carry your righteousness. I want to walk in your truth, Lord. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. He said, forbearing one another and forgiving one another. We are going to pray. Tell the Lord Jesus, give me grace to forbear one another. In this journey, you need me, I need you. And if we cannot forbear one another, we cannot make it. Pray and tell the Lord Jesus, give me the grace to forbear one another. Give me the grace to tolerate. This is, the, this is one of the fruits of the Spirit. Tell the Lord Jesus, give me the grace to forbear one another. Give me the grace. Pray and tell the Lord. Give us grace to forbear one another, oh, in the name of Jesus. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Shall we have prayed enough ourselves? I believe we still continue. Praise the Lord. We need prayer for ourselves, oh. It's not the time for you to be binding Satan. Because our greatest enemy is your flesh. That is why the Bible says, mortify, put to death these works of the flesh in your body. If we say we should continue to pray for our flesh, to, for God to work on us, we will pray more than the hour they gave us. So let us still continue to pray. Satan, witches and wizards, Satan, God has already taken care of them. If you are holy, living a righteous life, a wish cannot do you anything. We are going to pray the word of God say, He make his angel spirit and his ministers a flame of fire. We are going to pray, tell the Lord to make you a flame of fire. To be able to stand, to be able to run this race without you carrying the fire of God. They will stop you. Jesus, make me a flame of fire. A carrier of your fire. A carrier of your righteousness. In the name of Jesus. Jesus, make me a flame of fire. Clot me, Jesus. 
me. Jesus, clothe me with a garment of fire. With a garment of fire. So that I will be untouchable. In the name of Jesus. Oh Lord, my Father. Preserve me, Lord. Clothe me, Jesus. With your fire. With your fire. With your fire. With your fire. In the name of Jesus. Make me a flame of fire, Lord. In Jesus, that was not born a witch. She became, she ended up as a matured woman, become a witch. We are going to pray and cry to God. This is not a time for me to go into a testimony. I would have used my life to, to share testimony. Because if they, you, we have two eyes, we don't have four eyes. But those people, they have four eyes. They can see your destiny, they see you, they see your glory, they see your star. They see that you, this one is a child of God, wants to go to heaven. They want to stop you. If you don't pray, you will become a prey in the hand of the devil. That is why we need to pray and cry to God. Say, so that Satan will not stop you. They are there in the church to stop you. They don't want to go to heaven, but they want to make you the two times the child of hell. We are going to pray and cry to God as a participant in this conference. Jesus, I will not be a two-fold of hell. God forbid. Jesus, help me to stand. Clothe me with a garment of your fire. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. I will not be a two-fold of hell. Make me holy, Lord. I am seeking your holiness. I am seeking your holiness. Jesus, make me holy. Jesus, make me holy. I want to be a carrier of your fire, of your glory. In the name of Jesus. Pray and tell the Lord, no power will remove holiness. No power, no principality, no power, no friendly friend We remove the righteousness of God from your life. Tell the Lord to, to set you on fire. Tell the Lord to keep you standing in the name of Jesus. My Father, yes Lord, Jesus keep me standing. Jesus, keep me standing. Oh, Lord, my Father, keep me standing. Jesus, keep me standing. Jesus, keep me standing. In your righteousness. In your holiness. Yes, Lord. Jesus, keep me standing in your truth. Jesus, keep me standing. I will not be a, the, the truth time the child of hell. God forbid. In Jesus' mighty name, we pray. Pray and tell the Lord that the Lord will make you on fire. That as many that have come to this conference to initiate, that let the Lord make you on fire. That they will not be able to push on you. Pray us in the name of Jesus. Oh Lord, make me a fire. Hey, the fire. Make me too hot. That the enemy will not be able to push on me. Oh Lord, my Father. Make me a flame of fire. Make me a carrier of your fire. Witches and wizards will not be able to perch on me. I will not be defied in this. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. That is our heart cry. That is our prayer, Lord. That is our desire, Lord. That we will be holy. You will work on us in this conference, Lord. You will work on us, Lord. You will work on us, Lord. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. You are going to cry to God. Every load you have brought to this conference will not, carry, will not take it home. The Lord knows you more than you know yourself. Whatsoever that is an excess luggage... Whatsoever that is a load on you, whatsoever that will hinder you, whatsoever that we stand as a barricade, whatsoever that we stand as a barrier that you have carried to this conference, pray and tell the Lord, Jesus, I lay it at your feet. Jesus, I lay it at your feet. I will not carry it back home. I will not take it back home. Jesus, I lay it at your feet in this conference. Pray. Jesus. Jesus. If it's not captiveness, lay it at the feet of Jesus. If it's malice, lay it at the feet of Jesus. If it's unforgiveness, lay it at the feet of Jesus. Any 
anything that will make you not to enter the kingdom of God that you have carried to this conference, lay it at the feet of Jesus. It will not follow you back home. It will not follow you back home. In the name of Jesus. Jesus, I lay it at your feet. Jesus, I lay it at your feet. In the name of Jesus. we know we quote it philippians chapter 2 verse 5 he say he said let this man be in you let this man be in me which was also in what in christ jesus verse 6 he said who being in form of god thought it not robbery to be equal with god but made himself of no reputation and took upon him the form of a servant and was made in the likeness of man we are going to pray women we took care about you once we tie up our, we tie single. Your step don't change you. I thank God for holiness. Let us begin to clap to the Lord Jesus. Jesus has worked on us. We know where we are coming from. When you tie single, when you work out, your step different. I mean, not be so. But Jesus has worked on us. Let us give another clap of to the Lord Jesus. Me, I know where I'm coming from. You don't know where they come from. Me, I know where they come from. Pray and tell the Lord, I want to have the mind of Christ. In this conference, Jesus, I want to have your mind. The mind of that he, him being God, he made himself of no reputation. He, he become a servant. Oh, our God, he came down. Hey, can you deliver your child? In here they deliver Jesus. Even a mad woman. A mad woman carry pregnancy, and in the point of delivery, women will surround that mad woman. Two of us, they will take care of that mad woman and remove the baby from her hand. But see the place that Jesus was born. He made himself of no reputation. He's teaching us a lesson of humility. We are going to cry to the Lord. What brought Satan down from heaven? His pride. He said, "I will sit. I will be like the Most High." He wants us. He wants to overthrow. Overthrow spirit will not enter heaven. We are going to cry to God as a participant in this conference. We are going to pray, Jesus, I need your mind, the mind of Christ, so that I want to enter heaven. That humble heart, that humble heart of Jesus, that servanthood. Jesus, I need the mind of Christ. Come into my heart, Lord. Turn it to a prayer. It's a great prayer. It's a great prayer point. I need the mind of Christ. Jesus. The word of God said, let this man be in you, which was also in Christ Jesus. I need the mind of Christ. Jesus! I want to have the mind of Christ in me. That pride will not rule over my life. Let me have that servant spirit. Oh Lord Jesus, let me be humble, Lord. Oh Lord Jesus, help me to submit after your righteousness. In the name of Jesus, in this conference, let me have the mind of Christ. Jesus, give me the mind of Christ. That servanthood, that servant mind, that humble heart, that mind that is ready to receive instruction, that mind that is ready to accept, accept correction. Hey, Jesus. That is the mind I need. That is the mind I need. That is the mind I need. Jesus, walk on me. Pray and cry to the Lord to walk on your heart. So give you the mind of Christ. Jesus, my mind, my heart. I need the mind of Christ, Lord. I need the mind of Christ. 
In Jesus' mighty name we pray. For us to have the mind of Christ, let's go up a little verse 3. He said, let nothing. Philippians chapter 2, verse 3. He said, let nothing be done through strife or vain glory. But in lowliness of mind, he said, let each esteem others better than themselves. Oh, Jesus. If every woman go say, this is my, this my sister, so, eh? Now you better pass me. You put them for your front. Say, now you better pass me. I dare your back. We don't enter heaven. No. I mean, I so. We don't enter heaven. The word of God say, he said, let each, he said, let each esteem other better than themselves. You are praying the word of God, though. Pray the word of God into your life. Because not just to say, Jesus, make me holy, make me holy, make me holy. Pray and tell the Lord, Jesus, give me grace to esteem others better than this. Because why you are, you, 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 you see yourself higher is because of what? Pride. You bring yourself down. You carry on higher than yourself. That humble spirit. We are praying for the mind of Christ. We are praying for the mind of Christ. For you to have this mind of Christ, you must esteem others better than grace to esteem others better than my own very set. Jesus. The grace to put others first. I mean. Pray. I said in this conference. Jesus, give me grace. Give me what I better than myself. Jesus, mighty name, we pray. Everlasting Father, we worship you. Lord, we bless your name. We adore you, Lord, because you are faithful. You are the faithful God. You are the mighty God. You are the prayer answering God. We worship you, Lord, for prayer answer. In Jesus' mighty name, we pray. Amen.
We are getting ready for the presence of the Lord for those who have done the assignment well before Jesus. When I come into your presence, I'm so happy, I'm so happy. Ah. Breaks the yoke. I'm so happy. Ah. We expect those outside to come in. Yes, uh, by the grace of God, the help of God for you, to you, on you, you have finished your assignment for this period and are qualified for first class. Can you stand up? Let me see you. Let me have the coordinators here, the overseers. Praise the Lord. I have a great book before me that God has given to humanity in this end time. It's a book that reveals Jesus in all the ways that you will understand and know him well and appreciate him. I see this book fulfilling prophecy. The title is What Does It Mean? by Jesus is the son of God and is God. <clears throat> Understanding Jesus as the son of man, the Christ, 
the Lord, the everlasting God, the Creator, and Jehovah. I'm talking about the one that is with us here now. This book is going to increase your faith, your boldness, your righteousness, and your victory. The Bible says, until we all come to the unity of the faith, by the inspiration of God, to cause Christianity to agree on the person of Jesus. If you read this book, another person reads this book, we will all come together to agree on who is Jesus. Some people think that Jesus is created by God the Father. No, that's wrong knowledge. Some people think that Jesus is a mere human being. No. This book presents Jesus to you as God, the creator. Your maker, your savior, your lord, your king, eternal life is just great. And it is coming to those who are in first class. Yeah. Hallelujah. The most excellency is Jesus. First class, can you march forward? Shout hallelujah, amen. Hallelujah. Are you all first class? Hallelujah. Jesus. Hallelujah. Jesus. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen, 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 hallelujah. Amen. I want you to be very happy with Jesus. Let me read the back cover of this book. This book, what does it mean by Jesus is the son of God and is God? Is scriptural exposition or revelation of the person of Jesus. It is done in the manner that the reader will understand and believe fully and happily in Jesus. The book takes the, the believer to the expanded and full scriptural knowledge of Christ Jesus, our Lord. It indeed presents the excellency of the knowledge of Christ Jesus. When you read this book, you feel as Paul felt when he said that I may know him. Amen? Amen? And because of him I count all things but dumb for the excellency of the knowledge of Christ Jesus our Lord. 
Jesus came to the earth. Note, he was not Jesus from the beginning. He was God. Are you hearing? He was God. His name is not Jesus. Or had not been Jesus. Just as the name of the Father is not Jesus. The name of the Holy Spirit is not Jesus. We say, what is the name of the Father? God. What is the name of the Holy Spirit? God. What is the name of Jesus? God. It's because there was a project in this world. That is why this one God gave names to himself. That will be used for the purpose of saving human beings from sin. One is father. Two is son. Three is what? Actually, it's one person. You hear? Actually, it's one person. There was a project. Or oh, there is a project to be, to be executed. That is why the eternal God divided these names among himself. Because naturally, the eternal God exists in three persons. To make human beings understand, because human beings have a father, one of the persons of the Godhead is called Father. To make human beings understand that the, 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 the redemption process, since human beings have sons, one of the Godhead is called the Son. The Father sent the Son. Then the third person of the Godhead is Spirit, because human beings understand Spirit. For redemption purpose. God the Father. For God so loved the world. That he did what? That he. Gave his. Suppose there was no humanity in the world. Would there be a son? No. There would be just God eternal. The title son has no meaning to angels. Because angels don't have sons. They don't need redemption. Angels know Jesus as God. Thy throne of God is forever and ever. The scepter of thy kingdom is a right that God is Jesus. Thy throne. You are singing to Jesus. Is the whole heavens. Is singing to Jesus. Eva. The scepter of thy kingdom. Is a right scepter. When he became man on earth. Thou lovest. Righteousness, righteousness, and hate wickedness. Hallelujah! Therefore, God, thy God, has anointed thee with the oil of gladness above thy fellows therefore God thy God has anointed thee with the oil of gladness above thy fellows now let me explain this song to you God was, in, was talking to Jesus. 
thy throne, O God. That's the Father, the Holy Ghost, calling Jesus God. You hear? Thy throne, O God, is forever because Jesus is eternal. The rule of your kingdom is righteous rule. Then, you came to the earth and became man. Now, they are talking to him as men now. You found yourself in the earth and demonstrated righteousness. The earth is a, a place of iniquity. You never allow iniquity, wickedness of the earth to touch your life. You are perfect as a human being. God has now become your God because you are now a human being. He is God of all human beings. Has anointed thee. God is not anointed. It's man that receives anointing. Amen? Amen. Aha. Anointing is the coming of the spirit. The coming of the power. Appointed. But God is eternal. But since you have become man, God has anointed you with the oil of gladness above other human beings. That's why he called it above your fellows. You are in the earth as other human beings, but God, because you love righteousness as a human being, above human beings, and hate wickedness, God is above your fellows. So to him, God, did, God gave him, uh, gave him and the Holy Spirit, the major, the anointing without, uh, without major. So Jesus, this song speaks to Jesus as eternal God and comes to speak to him as a man among us. Get it again. Thy throne. You see, he is God eternal. As God eternal, his rule is forever and ever. And his rule is in righteousness. Thou art strong. He's speaking to Jesus as God. And God is the one addressing him. The scepter of thy kingdom. Is the right now as a man, thou lovest right. When you came to the earth, you preached righteousness, you promoted righteousness. Hey, you hated iniquity of the earth, it never touched your life. Hallelujah! Therefore, God that didn't become a human being, God is still God. But now that you are a human being, he has anointed you with the oil of gladness above other human beings. Above thy fellows. Therefore, because he was a prophet, other prophets were there. He is high priest. Other people were called high priest. But his anointing as a man is higher than above any other one. Thy fail, therefore, God, thy God has anointed thee with the oil of gladness above thy fails. Therefore, God, thy God. Has anointed thee with the oil of gladness above thy fellows. Putting this book in your hand is like putting Jesus. Go and know him more. Go and serve him more. Go and love him more. Jesus is the sweetest name I know. Oh, he's always just the same. Oh, oh praise his holy name. Have you counted them? Have you counted them?
counting, counting. I love the Lord. Is the sweet, yes, sweetest day in my life. That is the reason why I love Jesus. I love Him so much. Let us let's pray on this book. Anything that has been covering your eyes, not to know this Jesus. Anything blocking your eyes, the Lord shall remove it. The Lord shall remove it. This book will promote your knowledge of Jesus. In Jesus' name. Almighty Father, this is the end of time. And you choose to do it through holiness movement. To promote the knowledge of Jesus. That the people will all agree in one person. To know the personality of Jesus. The divinity of Jesus. The severhood of Jesus. The eternity of Jesus. The Godhead of Jesus. Oh Lord, let this book be accepted by God. Anointed by God. Let it be, let it be sent forth to do his wonderful work among men. To open their eyes. To give understanding to the sons of men. To the children of men. And increase the number of people that will worship Jesus. The number of people that will believe in him. And number of people that will have eternal life. In Jesus name. I pray. All right, give, go ahead. Jesus is the sweetest name I know. Yes, I know. That's why you have this book. Yes, you love the Lord. Sweetest name you know. Go and collect more. I love him so much. Yes, I love my Lord. Jesus, Jesus, sweetest, name sweetest name I know. Coordinators, get ready to collect for those who are not here that have met it. Both from America, Europe, Asia, within Africa. Yes, I love my Lord. Sweetest name I Jesus is the sweetest name I know. He's always just the same. Oh, praise his holy name. That is the reason why I love Jesus. I love him so much. Hallelujah. Thank God for his mercy. God is a merciful God. Everybody say God is a merciful God. That is why he created room for second class. Amen. That is why he did what? Because you can easily enter first class. You are second class today. In December, you can come to first class. Now, 
we have we listened to this second class message on Sunday scriptural examination of the use of physical substances in gospel miracles this is second edition for second class people amen it is a second edition it came out for some times ago and ceased circulation we walked on it again and is coming up with a, as a new book very beautiful as beautiful that the second class will be comforted you belong to second class can you stand up you see I told you of this type of Praise the Lord. Second class, you can please come out. Second class is 80%. You almost completed. Just remain only one. If you fail in two or three areas, you can never be second class. So judge by yourself. It's only when you have failed in one area, you can be in second class. 80%. When you fail in two areas, you can't be second class again. Second class. Remember the parameter? There are three books to read for the assignment up to this period. You have three books. Prayers, one hour, 30 minutes every day. Or members, one hour. Fasting at least twice a month. And you are faithful in all these areas. You have listened to 30 recorded messages. You have read the Bible from Hosea to the book of Obadiah with commentaries as a worker or leader or without commentaries as a member. Then, if you have qualified for all this but missed in one area, that's second class. If you are a newcomer, it's not for visitors. You are not, you need to know there is assignment. And as you see people coming out, you also join them. Please, you can go back. We have gifts for newcomers when the time comes. Praise the Lord. Thank you for going back. Some are actually going back. And you have assessed yourself so that you will not come back and say you want to do restitution. You say you didn't hear well. Listen well and obey. Scriptural examination of the use of physical substances like water, oil, handkerchief, apron, salt, sand, broom. Which again? Which one again? Eh? Eggs, coconut, <laughs> Banana <laughs> Egg King Okay <laughs> Oh, Patlocks Cutlass Everybody say, I am free. free. This book will give you converts. Amen. You are going to open the, ear, the, the, the eyes of T.B. Joshua converts. Amen. Which people convert again? Amen. Uh -huh. Call their names. Amen. Uh, Amen. Amen. Thank you very much. Now, you know, we will invite some people in first class to come and give us testimonies about how their love for Jesus increased in the assignment work they did. 
Well, we will, invo- we will invite some people from second class to come and give us testimonies. How the Lord delivered them from broom, handkerchief, <laughs> umbrella. What again? Cane, salt, banana, fire, cassava flour. <laughs> Praise the Lord. Even drinking, drinking petrol. Uh-huh. We want people to give us testimony. Who will give us testimony that he was, she was delivered? Yes. Uh-huh. So after we finish with you, we will listen to testimony of your deliverance. Is that clear? Yes, sir. Maybe we will start with you even. So that the, the last shall become the first. <laughs> Praise the Lord. Let us pray for the book. Almighty Father, you're sending us out as missionaries, army, to go and redeem your people from the hand of the devil, deceptive work of Satan. Many are selling their children. Many are drinking blood. Many are doing many things in the name of the Lord thinking they would get God by that. As the people, the prophets of Baal, prayed and caught themselves to bring Baal back from journey, all in deception. Lord, this book is written to set these people free. Bless this book. Go with this book. And these people who are putting this book into their hands shall redeem people for Jesus. In Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Now, having given to the people free, the rest of you will buy the book. It's available uh, like this one. Scriptural examination of the use of physical substances is for today. Study. So they'll be bringing it for those who don't have to have a copy for yourself. I don't know how much the price is. Did they mention the price? It may not be more than 600. Oh, 600. Uh Uh-huh. It's just 600. Very simple. Very cheap. Amen? Amen. Now, just go and be giving them, I am delivered. I am delivered. Once I was bound by the chains of Satan, but now Oh, praise the Lord. Amen. Oh, praise the Lord. By his word. But now. Sing it loudly. Oh, praise the Lord. Amen. Oh, praise the Lord. Amen. By his word. By the chains of Satan. But now. Oh, praise the Lord. Amen. Oh, praise the Lord. But now, Amen. Oh, praise the Lord. You can buy these books as free gifts. And share it to people. Ministers of second churches. Second churches. Get it across to them. 
to deliver them from the deception of Satan. Get it across to church members who have been eating sun all this while because they told them salvation is in sun. Yes, overseers, go and sit down empty-handed because this is not your time. You can buy your own. Yes, we say we want to listen to testimonies from um, anchor chief substances and all. Yes, come here if you want to share a testimony. We'll just pick a few. Quickly. Okay. Yes, co let's conduct. Uh, where is uh, Pastor Kosa? Okay. Glory. Conduct testimony for this substance people. We just need three from group one and no, group two and three from group one. First class, three people. You want to be among them? Come forward. Second class, three people. First class, come to my right hand side. First class, you want to give testimony of Jesus? Come to my right hand side. Three people, that's all. And the second class, three people, that's all. Remember, you're taking only three people. First class is complete, three people, not four. Bro, glory, you're wasting time there. So, praise the Lord. Praise the living Jesus. I want to give God the glory and to testify to his goodness how the Lord delivered me from all the things that Daddy mentioned in his preaching. When I was in Redeemed Church, every time we have anointing service, we will buy a lot of oil, we buy handkerchief. When I attended the Lost Chosen, that one was apron. We buy apron, we wear apron, we put handkerchief in the water and drink it. When I was attending Cherubin and Seraphim, <laughs> I have a big mark here on my chest that was given to me by a prophet with razor blade. 
and that mark is still there up to today. So, and I even have to pay money to a prophet to fast for me. Also, when I was in a different church, a prophet convinced me that he has to give me a bath for deliverance. So, I, when I was listening to daddy's message, I said, God, I have been through all this. I have been in the Cherubim and Seraphim, where you go to the beach to go and pray. At midnight, there is okay, we are going to the beach to go and pray for you to deliver you. So I didn't know that I was being put into more bondages than instead of being delivered. So it was when I came to Horemor that the preaching of our Father in the Lord opened my eyes. And then I started appreciating the Lord for his deliverance. I can't mention, or if I should mention all that I have been through in search of holiness, in search of the Lord. But yet, instead of me to find the truth, I was going deeper and deeper into darkness. But the Lord, in his infinite mercy, has delivered me today. I give him all the glory. I bless the Lord for Pastor Porica for giving us the truth. May the Lord bless him more and more in Jesus' name. Praise the living Jesus. I standing before you, I want to appreciate the name of the Lord. My name is Sister Patience from Ravinsen chapter, Suleja Zone. Indeed, Jesus so much loves me. I grew up, not knew anything called anointing oil, nor salt, nor a prayer by using water. But there was a certain time in my life when devil tempted me and my daughter started sick. When she fell sick, then I was attending all Christian fellowship. And when you did not have a good shepherd, when the, 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 the child started to develop illness, I met my pastor with her and my husband. We explained the situation to him. And the man seems not to understand to stood by us by canceling our prayer with us. And that now opened way, door for devil. And we started seeing, uh, people started coming around. You know, if you are passing through a problem that is overpowered you, without, without having a good shepherd that we stood by you, you will be misleading. Praise the Lord. And as others started giving us uh, advice, let us go and visit this so, so so woman. We started going in a wrong way, using anointing oil. It getting to a stage anywhere we are going to. If we forget to anoint ourselves, even though we prayed, even though we I forget and we step out and lock the door, we will return back home until we anoint ourselves. Praise God. As if without anointing oil, there is no a power in the name of Jesus that can protect me and my family anymore. But God helped me with all those anointing oil, even handkerchief, was used for the safety of the child. Upon all these, the child died. Praise God. And when she died, I was I was a kind of discouraged. But Jesus, who sees the heart, that does not want my labor, being see, uh, followed him. He did not want it to be in vain. He still showed me mercy. And after that, my elder sister started sick again. That one is another worst. I went in a wrong way. Anointing oil, there, there is one woman at uh, Guazunu, that someone took me to her, and I took my elder sister to her. There is a cross 
in her own anointing oil bottle. To the extent, he said they brought it from Jerusalem. It's only God that knows it. To the extent, we'll be giving my sister to drink. She will pray inside the uh, salt that in the midnight, we should use it to bed. We should pray with nakedness. All oh, is for my sister to be saved. But at the end, my sister died. Praise the living Jesus. But before she died, there is something that gave me joy. Then, before her own death, I have knew Horimo. And when I knew Horimo, I read Escaping Hell and Entering Heaven Make Simple. And this book opened my spiritual understanding. All this restitution, I've done it. And I, I took the book. I went to village. Then my sister, she can see, uh, she's still speaking. When I get there, seven days with her, I read this book to her. I lead her to Christ. And she called the people that she is holding them money, even those that she offended her. She called them on phone. She started did restitution. And the sixth day, her voice ceased. After her voice ceased, she will be saying, Jesus, but the tongue was heavy. If you did not listen very well, you can't hurt her until she died. That is only what gave me joy, that she did not die when we was going to these prayer houses. Praise the living Jesus. So I want to appreciate Jesus for the life of our daddy by delivering me and my family entirely. Now, since then, that I stepped to Horimo, I and my husband, my children, we have left the nomination and we are for Horimo and Jesus. To God be the glory in Jesus' name. Pray, Master Jesus. Praise the Lord. I am standing here to thank God for how he delivered me. For there was a church I was going, the name of a church was Chariot of Fire. Sometimes when we have prayer, the man of God will say we should buy coconut. That we we'll use that coconut to pray. After you use it to pray, you break it and use the water to wash your head. That is how we will do that was how we continue that church. So at that we asked you to buy broom. That we we'll use the broom to flog our enemy. That is how we buy that broom. If we ask us to sit on the ground, we we'll use you that broom to be flogging the ground. As you are flogging the ground, you are flogging your enemy. So at that we ask us to buy water cane. Different, different things. Anointing oil, covenant oil, mustard seed. All manners of different things they were using to do prayer for us not knowing that we are in darkness even when my husband fell sick when we lived there there was a place one of his friends said that we should go in Guazunu not knowing that is what garment immediately we get there just because of for him to get himself the man asked us that we will buy ram that he will use that ram to exchange the debt. Then my husband said, Ah, sir, I don't have money. He said, We should go and look for 48,000 naira a brick. That he will buy the ram by himself. All those words, we are running at Ascata looking for solution for healing. But still, yet, I lost him. But after losing him 2016, I found myself in living faith. Going there, I said, God, I come here so that I will receive help. My mind was not there because I was there just to receive help because I, there was no husband again. But when I, if I'm praying, I say, God of Bishop David, I need your blessing. Each time I pray that prayer, when I sleep, I will see myself in the church and I will see a big, a big cat on, a big cat on top of altar. In that dream, I would be saying, ah, God of my pastor, bless me. If I say, God of my pastor, bless me, that big 
cat will be the one answering me. In that dream, that big cat will be answering me. I say, ah, this, this one is not pastor now. That many times, I will, I will receive that revelation many times. I say, God, does it mean that this one is the God that this man is serving? I did not understand. And my eyes was blood to even, get, to even live there. That is how I was there, that 2016, 2017, 2018, 2019, 2020, even 2021. There was one day a brother that know me when I was a youth. In, in, uh, when I was a youth, he called me, he said, I know. I want you to attend this program. That was a widow's conference. That was the first day I stepped my feet in this place. When I came, I listened to Mommy Leader's message, what she was saying. In fact, my heart was not, oh, what I was after, I said, God, I want to, even when I, well, after the close, when I went home, I still returned back to living faith. I said, God, this way I will continue serving you. Even when God came, said, it is time for you to leave this place. I said, God, sure you know that I'm an orphan. No mother, no, 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 no father, no elder brother. My elder brother died through accident. Even my husband now is gone. So this is where I'm receiving help. I will not live here. There was a revelation God was not showing me for me to be confused so that I will leave that place. That day was on Sunday. After the closing, the, the night, when I went to go asleep, I see myself inside the church. Outside, just in the middle of the gate, I saw all the pastors with abalis. They were coming inside. The new, all the newcomers, they hold the newcomer's name in their hand. They hand over that newcomer's name to that abalis man. The man sit there at the middle, at the entrance of the gate. He was making a cartation in that uh, newcomer's book. They write their name. He was making a cartation. Put it carry. He, put, he dropped the book on the ground. He put carry on top of their names. He was making a chatment. Making a chatment. Immediately, I, I just hear a voice. What will you be? What will you be a light? Are you are in the midst of darkness? I said, I did not understand. The Abba, immediately, the Abba he made that cartation. He hold the book. That those name is, he hold it and put it inside the small purse he carry and he left. I said, God, that means these people, they are chaining people. What will I do? The last revelation God showed me before I could be able to be faith. I was in a dream. I saw the, the father, the father. I saw the father. And I saw that I saw that the Rika. He was asking daddy, why are you stubborn? Why don't you want to join us? Why don't you want to sit on this seat that we are sitting? That they say, I am stubborn to you, but I am not stubborn to God. I am obedient to God. Immediately, I looked this man's face. I saw the mark of CCs. As I turned, I looked at his face. I see boldness with, the, with capital letter. The blood of Jesus. I saw the blood of Jesus on the foreheads. That was what, in fact, that was the reason why I said God. Many things, many, many revelations. God has shown me. I said, God, I will remain here and here forever. And I pray that God should help me in Jesus' name. Praise the Lord. Praise Master Jesus. I want to appreciate God for the grace to do the assignments. I want to appreciate God for my life. January, I undergo surgery, so I was at home. So February, I was busy doing my assignments. I remembered on the, 20, on the 19th of February, I finished the book, the, the, the Divine Call to the Holy Woman. After I finished the book that night, so I prayed. After I prayed, I slept. As I slept, what I saw, I saw myself sitting on where there are ants. So I get up from the place and I saw myself again that I was carrying a load on me. I was, I, I said, ah, up to this time, by the grace of God, I've come to know holiness. So up to this time, I'm still carrying load. So as I was like that, see, asking myself, just wondering about the load that was on me. And I saw a man that stood beside me. I was not able to behold his face. And the man took the load away from me. It's made me whole. 
The blood of Jesus has made me old, has made me old. Oh, he has made me old. I sang the song and I woke up. Ah, as I woke up, I said, hey, Jesus. So, Lord, you have done a work of sanctification in my life. So, since I'm still carrying load, when I think I'm already prepared going to heaven, I thank God for the grace, for the divine assignment. After I finished the assignment book, that divine call to the holy woman, and I prayed that night, and God did this great thing in my life. Praise the Lord. Put your hands together for Jesus. Amen. It is the doing of the Lord, and it is marvelous in our sight. To him be all the glory forever in Jesus' name. Timonis. Is that okay? Let's pray on our food. Our Father in heaven, we thank you for thus far you have helped us today. We thank you, Lord, because you are here. We thank you for the work you are doing in our individual lives. The purging has been on. And you have been attending to us as individuals. Lord, we give you praise and glory also. So our Father in the Lord and other ministers that have ministered to us, we say be glorified, O Lord, in Jesus' name. Lord, before us, is the food you have presented. We are asking, O oh God, you sanctify, bless it, and let your sanctify. We say have the food coming in, and it's being distributed to various zones. Before we begin the distribution of our food, please, I still want to remind us concerning our registration. If you have not registered, please, please ensure you register. Then secondly, Throughout this conference, we'll be having time for counseling. And we'll have some of our pastors in charge of the counseling. So please, um, as soon as you are done eating, you come to the pastor's stand, the overseer's um, angle here, and you'll be attended to. You want to be baptized, water baptism, just like our Father in the Lord ministered, um, he mentioned it during his ministration. You know that water baptism is very, very important. Very important for your making heaven. It is a great opportunity for us to ensure you put your name with your overseer and your overseer will submit it to the pastor in charge. Amen. I said amen. amen. By God's grace also, tomorrow we'll be having testimonies of God's healing and deliverance. If you have one, please share with us, and you'll be given the privilege to uh, share with the brethren. Please, all the chapter leaders and the unit leaders present, please come forward quickly. We don't want to waste time. We have very short time to eat our food and to rest. So please come out quickly. Please um, come out quickly. You need leaders, chapter leaders. Please, those that will serve the soup are specially anointed from the kitchen. So, you need leaders and chapter leaders. Please take notes. Don't struggle with them. Please. And we don't want any waste. So, they know how to serve the soup, especially the soup. We beg of you. Allow them to serve the soup. But for the food and water, be free to distribute. So come out quickly. Come out, come out, come out, come out. Please, we'll be here. The food is blessed. Start sharing the, share the plates. More food is still coming. Please don't rush at all. We are bringing the food in bashes.
Take over this gathering. We surrender all in your hands. We submit all in your hands. Take over Holy Ghost Divine. In the name of Jesus, take control and permanence. We submit all in your hands. We surrender all in your hands. Take over Holy Ghost. Take control. Take full charge. In the name of Jesus, we welcome you. In Jesus' marvelous name, we pray. Yes, beloved, you and I know that the Bible has made it clear for us to understand that we have one enemy that is always eager to hinder us to stand the gap between us and our maker. Behold, it's not supposed to be so. This very object is serious. It's me and you that is playing, but this object doesn't play. He want to see that I and you we are divided before the law. That is what we are going to pray that God will remove such things so that God will be happy to dwell with us. The Bible says in the book of Isaiah, chapter 59, verse 1 and 2, it says, Behold, the hands of the law, the hands is, behold, the Lord's hands is not shortened, that it cannot save, neither his ear heavy that it cannot hear, but your iniquities have separated between you and your God, and your sins have hid his face from you, that he will not hear. Beloved, did you hear? So that is this enemy, this object, that always very serious, does not sleep nor slumber, to make sure that there is an enmity between us and our Father. Sin, that name, sin. Remember, that is said the same name, that separated us from our father, right from our forefathers, Adam and Eve. Therefore, we are going to frown at this. This is a very serious matter. We are going to pray. God said, it is because of this sin that makes it look as if God's hand is shortened to deliver us or that his ears are hidden, blocked from hearing us. We are going to pray. This is a stumbling block. God will remove it. We must not be found wanting in this garden. May we open our mouth and pray that anything that will hinder us, hinder the presence of God in our midst, hinder our prayers and supplications, hinder our blessings, let the hand of God remove such sin in our life. Let God move, flow freely with us. Saints are becoming the saints of the Lord. May we open our mouth and begin to pray cast away every sin, God, that the blood of Jesus will wash away every iniquity, every transgression, every spots and wrinkles that is here to us. In Jesus' marvelous name we pray. Amen. Please take your seat. God bless you. In a moment, we shall be going for a book review. A book review on scriptural examination on the use of physical substances in gospel ministry. Book review on scriptural examination on the use of physical substances in gospel ministry. Please, if you are still outside, come in. To the glory of God, you already have copies of the book. So if you don't have yours, by God's grace, when the ushers are coming around, you have your copies. Just beckon on them and pick your copies. Amen. I said amen. amen. We are going to have um, ten group three. Back of the hall, just right side of the media. Group four, left side of the media at the back of the hall. Then, group five, you'll be having your class under the mango tree towards the entrance gates. There's a mango tree towards the 
entrance gate. Then groups. Group C, you'll be by the mango tree. Group 7, Pastor Emmanuel Umo. You have your class under the cashew tree. Cashew tree. Group 8, Pastor I.K. Amambosi. Prayer Warriors tent at entrance gate. The Prayer Warriors tent just behind the block industry. Then group nine, Pastor Theophilus Emerebe, a fountain. And group 10, Pastor Samuel Longs, near bakery and welders workshop. We have chairs outside. We also have chairs piled up. And by the entrance gate, so please don't move any of our chairs within the hall. We have always announced that if you have not registered, please do. Please, media, let's try to set up. The Thank you. I wrote it here. Please. The following will be cooking our dinner tonight. North Central States. That's Benue, Kogi, Nasarawa, and Niger. You joined the movement about three years ago. As from three years and above, you, are, you can join our brother in the kitchen. Three years and above, please go to the kitchen now. You have spent up to three years in the movement. And you are from Benue, Kogi, Nasarawa, and Niger. Please move here now. We want to have our food set at the right time. Please, you are expected to finish quarter, sorry, 10 minutes to 6. So you have 50 minutes. Okay. About an hour. One hour. One hour's time, please, you are supposed to have finished. God bless you all.
Amen. Beloved, the wonderful verses of God, please, you have answers for 40 minutes, then you will have to hand over by 640. God bless you. More grace in Jesus' name. I repeat, please. You have now, it is seven minutes. Uh, you will be able to turn to questions and answers. So answer your questions right there in your platforms. And then you take this. Attention, please. For all the classes outside, if it's becoming unbearable, please just join us in the auditorium. If the breeze outside is becoming unbearable, please join us inside the hall of meeting. Bless you. Please, as you come in, just join one of the groups within the hall.
Amen. Please, beloved, you are informed, please, to come in and take care. Choose a particular class where you will be. And then, please, our wonderful teachers to start immediately to take your questions and answers. God bless you. More grace in Jesus' name. Amen.
Let's round up there because we're moving forward. Round up now. Let's rise up upon our feet for prayer. Open down my eyes. Oh, my Jesus. My Redeemer. This God is the 
mighty God. He chose to walk with man. Once he has spoken, twice we've heard him. That power belongs to God. God works in a mysterious way. Is where no man can design. God works in a mysterious way. Ah, God works in a mysterious way. Is where no man can design. God works in a mysterious way. In a mysterious way, God works in a mysterious way. His way no man can design. God works in a mysterious way. Ah, God works in a mysterious way. Jesus' name we pray. Let be on our feet. Let's begin to appreciate the King of Kings and the Lord of Lords in our midst. Thank Him for another time to hear the Word of God. Thank Him for today. Thank Him for the grace that you have released unto us. Father, we worship you, we bless you. We give you all the praise. We give you all the glory. Be thou exalted. Be thou glorified. Thank you, Jesus, for today we worship you, Lord. Blessed Redeemer, we worship you. Father, we bless you, Lord. God, we give you all the praise. We give you all the glory. You are worthy to be praised. Jesus, welcome the Lord in our midst. Tell the Lord to come and take over. Jesus, come and take over. We hand over this session to you. Holy Spirit, come and speak through me to your children. Father, I welcome you, Holy Ghost. Jesus, come and take all the honor. Lord, I bless you. God, I give you praise. I give you glory. Jesus, you are wonderful. Open the floor of heaven. Let it rain, let it rain, Jesus, open the feet, let it rain, right upon us Jesus lift up your hand and worship the king of kings lift up your hands and tell him let the floor get of heaven let it rain upon your life this evening let the word of God change your life this evening oh lord let it rain let it rain father hope on the floor Let 
let your power come now this evening. Oh yes, let it get off heaven. Jesus, upon your life this evening, let it before you take your seats tell him how you love him say lord i love you i give you praise i give you glory you are worthy to be praised you you are worthy to be praised you are worthy to be praised blessed redeemer take all the worship oh we are created to give you glory we are giving you the glory be that way a time like this God will work miracles in our life this evening. We will not only be here, but we will be doer of your word in Jesus' name. I take authority over every principalities and powers that are here to make your children not to understand your word. I destroy all their spells in Jesus' name. I cover this place with the blood of Jesus. I subdue all the powers of the enemy under the feet of Christ now in Jesus' name. Every distraction that will make your daughters not to understand your word, I bind it in Jesus. Lady Lord, they will be restored. The sinners will repent and the believers will be strengthened. Thank you for what you are going to do. I cover myself with the blood of Jesus. With the blood of Jesus. I pray that your children will believe and they will make their way straight. Thank you, Lord. You will touch the heart in those that think they are born again. Lord, they will surrender. They will see their, their little foxes in their life. And Lord, you will prepare us to meet you in heaven. Thank you for what you are doing. We give you praise. We give you glory. For in Jesus' mighty name, I pray. Put your hands together for Jesus as you take your seat. I greet you all in the name of Jesus. I'm happy to reveal words. Hallelujah. Remember the Lord's revealed words. Videos, the CDs, the books, the Bible, be reading it. Bibles. Because if you don't do these things, you will see yourself out of the way. And you will be asking yourself, how come? God, why do you allow me to backslide? God say, I give you the word to be reading it. You know? So please... It is good for us to, to keep the Lord's word always refreshed in our mind. Even to the revelation. You know those days that when the revelation came earlier, 2013, many people were serious, so afraid. In fact, the way they saw their clothes, we were not having too much headache of correcting women. Everybody was upstairs ready for heaven. But when the Lord of Tari's delay is coming, 
We are thinking, oh, the Lord is playing. The Lord is tired all over the world. I want to tell you, if you are thinking, oh, it's the government. We need to vote. It will bring down the, the rice. We will start buying rice to 7,000. It will never happen like that. Because we are getting close to the end of the war. And the word of God will not go back to our God in vain. Whatever he said, it will come to pass. It be but seeing us out there, you have some people that they have to be selling their own children. They will go and give somebody, I beg, help me, I have six children. But as a child of God, you, have a, you, are, a, you are a born again Christian, you don't even know how God provides for you a day. Isn't it so? Every day you say, wonderful. See, my neighbor have only two, two children. Me, I have six. But every time we have enough, we even used to get a God. I don't know the miracle. That is the wonder of God. That he say his children, he will take care of his children. So in a time like this, we need not to forget the word of God. Because that is the word that will keep us going and keep us fresh. Persecution will increase. We are seeing what we are suffering through the hand of the Muslims. If you don't have the word of God with you and live in you, you will backslide. God forbid if they kidnap you now, like our sister in Taraba, we had the testimony. If not that she, and God even told her in, in, as they were carrying her, that you are going to be listening to the message here. Because the messages, as he's listening in the, in the kidnapping zone, give us strength and boldness. But if you don't have the word of God in you, fear will come. Satan will say, <laughs> you know these people now, they will be heard. Remember the, the, the word of God, the message that is saying that side is because you, after conference, you dump everything. But if you are like that, I want to tell you, I pity you. Because when Satan came to, this, to, to, to tempt Jesus one day before God, say, which color of cloth I wore when I came? So please, it is the word will overcome the devil. Always have time with the word of God. The word of God will keep us. It will turn us from darkness to light. I want to tell you that the world is lying in darkness. All over, the whole world is lying in darkness. That's why, because you are, you are in the church, they don't bother about them. Even the, how can the pastor persecute himself? Some of the pastors are there. But I want to tell you, the whole world is lying in darkness. Sinfulness. Evil. Thing that you cannot imagine. When you go to the YouTube, the news, things you will be seeing. Daughter, brother sleeping with brother with sister. All this kind of thing is happening. Mother sleeping with son. You will be like, ah, is sure mommy? What mommy says is true is happening. In fact, some nation are even ordaining it by giving it a freedom. Insist that a, a brother can marry the sister or a father can marry the is a sin. But now nations are many people in the world, even in your family. They are, they are in darkness. That's why when you are speaking truth, light to them, they don't understand. They were like, I, uh, no, this is not true. How can he carry you to hell? What is your Christianity? They are in darkness. They are in darkness. answer of God. Amen. Okay. But what said the answer of God unto him, I have received to myself, I have reserved to myself 7,000 men who have not bowed to the image of Baal. Even so then at this present time also there is a remnant according in, in God always choose only a remnant out of a nation, out of many families, generation. You can take an example of Noah. In the time of Noah, Noah and the family were the one that was saved. They were the remnant of that generation. Look about Sodom and Gomorrah, Lot and his, uh, and his daughter. Even in the time of the children of Israel, when God was carried, they told Joshua, we will continue to follow you. We will do all what the Lord will say to you. And they were the one that was able to see the promised land. Hallelujah. Somebody will say, what is remnant? Remnant is a part or quantity that is left after the greater part has been used or removed or destroyed. A part or quantity. The Bible lets us to know, make us to know that many are called, few are chosen. 
So the remnant are the few ones out of all of us, all of us in this world, including those that have died, being their condemned. Including this generation now, this one now, many are called, but don't listen to her. All this big, big denomination, don't you see their pastor's wife wearing attachment, put on bleaching cream, they put on nails, short skirt, but still God is using them, making miracles. The great man of God in the world is putting on ring, all this kind of thing. Satan will be telling you, don't listen to her. It's just a lie. And you too will be sitting there, it's true. Or go to China, go to Filipino, go to other nations, Ghana, everywhere. The churches, majority of the churches are out of the way. Because the Bible says, by their fruits we shall know them. Hallelujah. So, you that you are now knowing the truth, know that you are privileged. You are among the remnant. And you have heard what the meaning of remnant means. A small minority people. So, don't be deceived by the crowd of people you see in the world when they are doing sinful business and you are you are saying that will god judge all these ones and because of that you still remain in your sin you still be deceived by putting on whatever they are costing on your body or you still live in your secret sin in your witchcraft or you live in your uh, unconfessed sin your restitution is hanging on you you say eh. down to remind yourself of the word of God to play the word of God in your life that's why you have been carried away but God said I should tell you don't be deceived don't be deceived about you fresh till the Lord come see what the Lord told Joshua here if Joshua truly want to be fit in the shoe of Moses you want to carry these people and you want to be faithful to me if you Don't make the other five to be wise. It's because they carry what? Extra oil. And that extra means extreme. They carry oil, but they add more. They kept more. But you, they go to church, they only say prosperity. You just live your life. On. But you, because you are in the church, they just limit you in prosperity. You don't want to go and know why God says say it doesn't matter. All that is written therein. If the book is big like this, God told us, book of the Lord shall not depart out of thy mouth. Pray through, understand my prayer that we're here. Have you prayed to know the kind of bread in God is talking about here? You have come to a place where the man of God knows the word of God and say, bread your natural hair. What the breading they are talking there is attachment breading. Don't put wool on your head. But some of you, you are very disobedient. And don't forget, disobedience is a sin. Disobedience is a sin. Shall so meditate there in day and night that thou mayest observe to do thou shalt have good sources. So you can see, they will bait you here. They will say sleep in the church. The, 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 the pastor or the shepherd or whatsoever will bait you, will be touching your private part. Do like they say they are baiting you. After you are standing that, that, they will take you to another place. This is just a simple instruction that God told Joshua. Meditate. The word should not depart from your mouth, my Lord. That is it for you to be delivered. Jesus told us here that go and tell them that they think that witches cannot be delivered. Witches cannot be delivered. Let me put it as he said. It's because when they are confessing, they don't confess the truth. I am a God of truth. I live in truth. Nothing darkness is surrounding me. My heaven, no dark. So when you come to confess, some of you will say, eh, I, I'm, not, I'm not a witch, but I just used to see myself in the dream, eating. You are not ready. Then you will, you will see God thing. Confess before seeking first. God, do first all the other things before we seek you. And God, we, can, we cannot change God. Amen. So open your eyes today, your understanding. That for you to be delivered is by the truth. The Bible said the truth shall what? Set you free. That is it. Amen. So, to be among the remnants, you have to be among the remnants that will be saved. Because many have been deceived. Many that don't know the word of God. Many that don't have to the word of God. In Revelation, I don't believe in prophecy. I don't believe in this. Some of you, you only believe in prophecy that they will be telling you, Papa, prophesy. Can I prophesy? Prophesy. These are the things you like. When they tell you the truth, you are, you are very angry. But you like where they keep you busy. I want to tell you, 
there's two days in our life, something that we are waiting for, on, and it's an unknown day, is death and the rapture. You don't know the time you will die. Come. So, you have to quickly be a Study the word of God. Let the word of God don't depart from your mouth. Meditate on it always. God has used our Father in law to give us assignment. Assignment that we should be reading the Bible, study the, the Bible, meditate on the many, how many books, listen to messages. As you are listening, you are knowing, oh, so this thing I was doing is bad. Oh, God, show me mercy. Hey, I'm going to confess. I'm going to do this. God has used us praying. We'll only be depending on chapter meeting and Bible study or conference. That is all. After, after service, we reading the books, all this Lord, I will do more. In fact, my zona leader, Pastor, Pastor Glory, we are planning more. Because when I read that book, I said, wonderful. Divine call. I want to be like Deborah. Because truly, when you go to the churches, you don't see men anymore, any gay. You go, come to Holiness Church, we are looking for men. So, I say, so God, we can do it. God, we can do it. It opened my eyes to know that women too can be like a man in the house of God. Hallelujah. Amen. So, it's good for you to know the word of God. When you know the word of God, Satan will not deceive you. But when you don't know the word of God, Satan will come and give you one lie and then you will take it and go. Like many people that have left when the saints have gone. Amen. So please, always have time with the word of God. Listen to the word of God. Do what the, the word say. First Thessalonians chapter 5. Media. So we have to be studying the word of God. We don't need to neglect the, the word of God. We always have to be remembering the word of God. Recall on it. Call, pray. Always have it in our mind. Go through the word of God always. First Thessalonians chapter 5. From verse 1 to 11. But of the time and the season, brethren, ye have no need that I write. in hell now they are knowing the truth many are in hell now amen for when they shall say peace and safety then sudden destruction cometh upon them as travail upon a woman which take it to hell don't allow unforgiveness to take you to hell don't allow unforgiveness malice there are some people here they don't talk to each other they see you like this they pass their way as if they did not see you I don't even know what kind of Christianity that if you check, it's happening. Some people say, this person, I don't want her business. But is that Christianity? That is not Christianity. Because when you see the person in heaven, is that how you want to say, I don't want this person in heaven? You will not go to it. It's on earth we started practicing the lifestyle of Christianity, the lifestyle of heaven. Heaven, there is no enmity, there is no segregation, there is no partiality, there is no sentiment, there is no oh, familiarity. Or so if you are here, you begin to say, I love this, I don't love this. Heaven is closed for you because God will not want you to carry that same attitude to heaven. Amen. But as we are allowed of God to be put in trust with the gospel, brethren are not in darkness that, they, that that day should overtake you as a thief. You are not, we are not in darkness. But some of you still want to be in darkness by updating with the, on the word of God always. And if you do that, that, then you are still in darkness. Then little by little, you are, you are going back to your vomit. But see what they are saying here. You are not in darkness. For say that day will come suddenly. We have teach you the word. Meditate on the word. God is coming as a thief in the night. But you, you are always ready. You are sleeping. The trumpet will sound. From there you are going. You are in your business, trumpet with sound, you are going. Even if you are working in the office where sinners are in holiness, but God puts you there as a missionary, you are safe, you are righteous, you are holy, you are not taking part in all these, their kind of as God directed you to do that or directed you to do that, you are safe. But many of you, you are still in darkness or you are started going back to darkness, compromising, anger, little lies have started coming into your mouth my dear if you have started living in this kind of life then know you need to repent today again and you need to 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 give god your heart genuinely and say god i give you my heart i give you my soul i trade it to you or else it will come suddenly on you 
it will come suddenly in you. Ye all the children of light. Ye are all the children of light, verse 5. And the children of and the children of the day. We are not of the night, nor of darkness. Therefore, let us not sleep as though others, but let us watch and be sober. I am pleading with you all today. Be among the remnants, so that you will not be a watchman that sleep. But you are a watchman that your eyes have opened. It's only the drunkard. As you go further, because we don't have time for verse 7. These are sinners in those that are asleep in the, in the things of God. Those that are not bothered about the things of God. Those that when you tell them, they, in fact, some people say there is no heaven. In. But you that you know that this is the end time. You have to give your life to Christ. Please know that. Don't play with salvation. Salvation is. free but some of you are still in your sin jesus died to take away our sin and you say you are born again christian then why are you still in your sin you lie you fornicate you commit adultery you disrespect your husband you fight your husband you know many things you are doing you are a cheat you know all these things you are your wife. Wife, submit to your husband and throw you out of the house. So the men have turned everything upside down. Everything. You go to the churches today, Jesus was just telling us yesterday, I love the theme of this program because you cannot see a theme like this anywhere again. That's the topic of the program. Many churches today, even churches that are holding their churches, it's more of prosperity, more of prosperity, more of prosperity, miracle, blessing, come and see the wonder of this, come to hard for you. I've come to this house. But you, you say you're a born again woman. I'm a woman of God. I see vision. I'm prophesying. In fact, people know me. Oh, she's a prophet of the church. It's God that called me. Your husband is like an assistant to you in the church. No, no respect. So ministry will go. The women are in top. He will tell you plainly that it's me that God called. It's my husband, but it's me that God gave this ministry. And I will be every treating the husband. And you think you are going to heaven. No heaven. Amen. So this, this program is to purge you. It's to clear your, clear your mindset. All this old wine of can get drunk with it. We are here for the new wine. It is very hard. But if you open your heart and say, God, no matter what, I'm ready to follow. The Lord knows the way to the wilderness. Anywhere he goes, I will follow you. Go follow Jesus till the end. Anywhere he leads me, I will follow. He climb up the mountain, I will follow. These are the people Jesus is looking for. Not babies. When he climb up, he say, ah, Jesus, that mountain is too far. Me, I cannot climb you. Come and meet me here. This is not the people he's looking for. And these are the people that are wasting time in different dancing and singing in different denominations. So please, you at this time. Refresh your mind. Refresh your mind with the revealed word of God. To, re to remind you of the revealed word of God. What God said we should not do. What God revealed to me. There are many of you. But I want to tell you, hell is still there waiting for sinners. So if you go back to that, that hellfire that made, that before you list you had and you were afraid, have not disappeared. It's still alive. It's still living. People are still dropping there now as a new man of God that preached the truth that you yourself, God, have given you the wisdom. You listen and change yourself. You change your life. There was a time I was listening to the Dekumui message. Part of, I was doing an assignment. Then I said, I'll just come across it. I old message. I was listening to it. Then the Dedeka came there. He met me. I said, what's message? I said, I'm listening to the Dekumui. He, he was very, daddy was happy. It's like, it's, like I told him, I'm listening to Jesus. He was like, then... He now said, you can record it as, as part of your assignment message. As Babin is here in the punk way. Jerry call it, the wife is bleeding. By telling them the talk, you know part of the word of God is very good. Before I go into my testimony, I want to show you, if you had the way we used to dress, and we have invite people in our midst here, which we are so blessed to have in our midst, and you will go, it is a sin. So, I want that I used to do before, and things that is happening in the church people down before i tell you where this western world as we have seen i had they are teaching the children worship devil it's like like devil like how we are telling people love jesus there they are making the children to love satan in fact you choose to be a devil worshiper not his bad so somebody sent it to me and say mommy pray for us see what they are teaching our children now 
making them to see that Satan is nothing, teaching them the science of the devil. They are doing it, practicing it. And these are little ones. Satan is catching them young. That's why I tell you, the whole world is lying in darkness. Few of them will make heaven. Children that have come to the age of accountability that know good and bad. Many of these children are in which people of God, they are seen as secret sin. They are under your feet. They are doing secret sin. What they are doing on their phone, laptop, or whatever, watching all is cage in, in, the devil, in the hand of the devil. So fear, if anything, up, if, a, if a demon appears to your dream and you have one, worship him. See, they are worshiping Satan. In school, in them to see the demon, see Satan. Satan is not bad. Get used to Satan. If he appears to you, don't fear Satan because that is, the, that is the aim of this. That is the aim of it. Wearing black and put on, dress as cultist person. And when these children will grow up, these things will not mean they will see it's like play. This is the end time. They are not teaching these children to know Jesus. They are not bringing Bible to these children. They are bringing Satan, bringing demon, bringing masquerades to teach them, sitting before they study demon. And these children, if Jesus did not come, and a tarry is coming, they grow up. Do you? That's why we need to do fast. Amen. Things to avoid in your life as a Christian. In your Christian life, if you want to go to heaven, you must avoid these things. Fornication. For single people that are here, you believe that, oh, I will be dating this boy and he will marry the of God. You should not defy. Only your, you have boyfriend or you are busy going up and down believing that that man will marry you. Even if inventories commence, you have defied yourself, sleep with each other, all kind of things. So fornication is a sin. Fornication is a sin. Abortion is a sin. Even married people, they, they are committing abortion. I don't have eight children. I don't want a, another child again. God said, I've given us wisdom here. Uh, family planning is not a sin, but you have some fake people that are preaching there say, family planning is a sin. Family planning again, what will people say? Go and do abortion. Satan has caged you. You are a sinner. You are a sinner. Nothing is wrong to separate your children, to space them. Wisdom is, is, is given to us to direct us, is to profit us. God has given wisdom to the doctors. How you can space your children until the time you are ready to give birth. You say it's a sin. What is sin in that? Then you go and kill the unwanted pregnancy. You now give birth and sin. Don't do abortion. You can do family planning. Drunkenness. This is what is happening. Your business is beer parlor. Your business is to send uh, palm wine, is to send alcohol, cook bush meats. Men come there, sit and be eating. Mama, this, you are laughing. And Sunday, you go and give testimony. God, no, this is where I'm getting money to pay tight. That money is polluted. God said to me, my daughter, I am to anger and fighting, smoking. Smoking. You are selling cigarettes. Maybe some of you, wait, I'm stressed. You smoke. Women too smoke when they are stressed. Or your children are smoking, you laugh, you play with them. You are, you are playing with sin. See what the youth are doing to them. And are genuinely saved. They will stand in the gap, pray for their children. They will be saved. But when the mother and the father told their own Christian life is waving, the children are wasting in the hand of Satan. Youth have gone into smoke. You see them? Of God. When you have the genuine word of God, yes, you stand in the gap. God, you said they are for signs and wonders. God, deliver my child. Deliver. You will pray one day that child will be delivered. Lost thing. It's a sin. Even women too, they lost over a man. You have your married husband, but you are losting over another man. It's a sin. You have to pray against that man over another brother. Father, destroy. Destroy it. Don't come and be praying, God, kill my enemy. God, love me. God, bless me as I go. The, a poor person can go to heaven. A person that don't have anger, don't have any sin in him, but he or she is poor, he's not, he will go to heaven. But a rich person can be rich, so rich, but he have anger, lying, all these things. Maybe you, you were doing it when you were small, and you have not been delivered. You used to see yourself in the dream. You are still sleeping with a woman. You need to be delivered. You need to pray. Lesbianness is still following you. Or a married woman, you are still touching yourself. It's a spirit. It's demonized. And when you touch yourself, you must be with some people are fear, but they still add to it. Why are you adding to it? When the time is going, you change again. Why are you bleaching? You say, I don't like the skin God gave me. 
I was telling somebody, people that are black, they don't have problem. People that are fear, they have problem. And some people, when they're black again, they say they want to be fear. Ask those that are fear like us you to maintain your skin. But you that are And tomorrow in the church, she will lift up her hand and say, Lord, I love you. Beating the husband. Doing those kind of things, you have to cry and repent. That's why this program, God really spoke to daddy, is going to purge women. Because sometimes the women, this mouth is machine gun. You will stand fire, you bullet the husband, boom, 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 and pick race. By the time the husband wants to go, you run. Behavior is a, is, is a beating to the man. When the man wants to touch you, you say, don't try it. Don't touch me. Don't this. When he stands, you are punishing him to subdue him. Do this, what I say you don't want to do. Then you will not touch me. When they want, because you want to do to please your wife. That sister in the church, I told you, this sister, is, you did not do anything. If you don't get that sister, if you don't get this brother, if you don't do that, they, they pass or two because you want to, you know, you will go and do. But because those people, there is. Go and put that on your phone. Be listening to the messages online. Join the chapters. Be going to meetings. Listen to the word of God. Keep yourself refreshed. Reveal the word of God. Go back through it. We have a um, CD. All these things, I put them. So be careful. So please be careful. These things, you see that, ah, it look nice. All my front ear was removed because of planting, tiny, tiny in front. Because all the time we are plating it, it will be removed. Our ear before we remove, we'll be putting cap, putting gel to cover that side, putting fake hair, spoiling our natural hair. All these things, this is wool. Express your body. These are not the beauty. Satan deceives us, believing that, oh, our natural hair, it, we are not beautiful. Today, look at me. So now I sit down in the glass, I cry, I say, God, forgive me. See the way I'm beautiful? Your hand may say, God, why do you make my face like this? No, ah, I'm not doing my hair. My face is not looking presentable. If I lose my attachment, quickly, I want to go and do another one. I never believe that my hair is good. So please, you are like that. Maybe you tie attachment there as you are sitting there now. You believe that without attachment, you are not beautiful. You are sinning. Defy your body. It's from the marine kingdom. Attachment is from there. Jewelry is from there. Lipstick, makeup. I disbelieve them. I never knew that what they are teaching there is the true gospel. In darkness. We are in the light. If you don't repent, powder, white powder, wool, all this rest to hellfire. God called, Jesus called this thing, go and tell my children to take away the day of your forefathers, that they should take it away from their body. And you, you are putting it on, telling God that I'm not taking it. When you put it on, you are telling God that I'm not taking it. Cause it, but me, I love it here now. It's women that are supposed to play here. Women are babbing their hair now like man. Everything is upside down. Because God is coming. Indecent dressing. Ungodly dressing. If you are dressing like this, I want to tell you, you are not complete. Holiness is a complete standard. 100%. You cannot make your gown on top of your knee and say, but the gown is long now. You cannot sew your gown and your, all your shape is showing. And then you say, but I'm not wearing trousers. No. God did not say you should wear trousers because he's showing only your shape. Even the gown should not reveal your body part that will cause... And was asking me, there's one of our women leader that was giving testimony that time, and she put on the flay hand, very bogus like this. After the workers' meeting, in, the, in my night's rest, Jesus came to me and said, and brought me back to the hall. And it was like the, the thing was repeat before me, you know, it was replayed. And I saw her still talking, and then Jesus now asked me that. What is the essence of the opener? Truly, what is the Put lipstick, put up the main road, you are in the house. Your own prostitute is in the house. Me, my own is in the outside. There is no difference between looking 
I'm seeing some people, members of Orimo, are still putting it on. But one thing I want to tell you, do not be mocked. Whatsoever a man saw it, that shall he what? Reap. When you obey God, when God is revealing secret to us that we don't know, we should be grateful. We should be thanking God. Father, I thank you I did not die to God. No, because you will not go and hold God, say, God, you didn't tell me. And that year is a sin. That this dress here was there is a sin. This God, you cannot go. You, can you fight if you want? Some of you have to take place because your mind is on jewelry, on your weaving. You will be in the saloon putting attachment and, 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 and rapture will take place. You're going to be putting wool, putting styling gel. Now I see you to be putting styling gel, putting gel in front of their, their head. I look at some of them and say, these people, they, they, they are playing with hell. When you will be burning, burning, fire will be coming all part of your body for millions of years, forever. You will be burning, burning. Bond. Then in hell you will not fear God. In hell you will not hate with one. You will hate on, on godly dressing. But some of you, you have to go and taste that place. But I pity because some of you, where you go, because God is talking, you are not hearing all this naked wedding gown. And you, when you go to a wedding, you see people dressed like this. The way you'll be dancing and happy with them, you are part of them. You should be sorrowful. Some people, a child of God will not be even spending time there. As you see some kind of things happening, you have gone. Because you will be bleeding your heart. Jesus is not there. What are you doing there? Why are you dancing more than anybody there? If you know you are in charge of the wedding, everybody should do what God wants. But God is not in some wedding. This kind of wedding gown is indecent. God is not there. Begin to pray for your children. That they will not disgrace you like this. Just know that God is not my daughter or my son. Dressing like this for the wedding. See the kind of bridesmaid now. Any wedding you go like this, or even in the church, God is not in that church. That place is doom, is darkness. See them. These are the wedding, these are the bridesmaid gown now. It's happening everywhere, Nigeria, everywhere. It's, it's show off now. They too, they are going to look for a husband. Dressing, look at them. Those days you cannot even pass in the church, the yard of, of a church like that. But today, pastors to stand and be ordaining and be blessed. I bless you, husband and wife. When the girl breast is all out, look at the gown. Look at the, look at the breastwear. This is, you know, night gown. Those that we used to wear one robe, a night gown to sleep. But today it's out. People wear bra and go out and say it's cloth. And you'll be playing. And you go there and be spraying money on there. And you'll be laughing. You have to jealously protect your salvation. Don't allow somebody to come and stain you. It's good to go for a week. But when you go, you know that this place has overpowered me. Take off. See them. Sometimes you just send your gifts and say, go and give them, since you know the kind of people that are there. Unholy hair tie. Because you don't want rapture to meet you there. You have to have the th thinking of rapture anytime. You can slum there and die and go to hell and go say, what were you doing there? See the kind of hair tie. This is not head covering. This is not perfect head covering. Cover your head very well. These are hats, fashion hats. Fashion hats. These are not head covering. When you want to cover your head, cover your head very well. As we are covering our head, you want to put hat on your head. All this cap our sisters are doing, make sure you cover your head very well. All these ones are fashion. Look at the hair is showing outside and in front. These are fashion. You are playing with God's standard. You say, I've covered my head. This is not cover head. So if you are seeing some of these pastors who are putting on this, they are just doing fashion. They are not covering your head. And it's a sin to a woman in the church, don't cover your head. So this ones, all this mighty gele, this is not a born again Christian hair tie. You can't fan on your head. That is not. Tie your gele moderately. These are all fashion, this thing. Some of you are putting on art. When you come to the camp, you tie your head. But when you go there, see gele. It's almost covered the, the screen. And some of you tie it like this. A mother of the day, now my daughter they wear, now my son. This gele is not for you. This is a fashion tying head. Tie your head very well. When they see, they know that you are tying your head, but you are not the, You are not part of this worldly people. All these are flamboyant, flamboyant kind of hair tie. And these are not born again. You don't have Christ in you. Those people that do that, this, they only know Jesus by name. The fear of God is not in their heart. They are the one God said, they call us more their mouth, but their heart is far away from me. So let's go. So that is it. High shoes. Please, standard shoe for women is one inch, highest one inch and a half.
that you can able to walk on it, you can stand on it. But as he has passed this one, these ones are all four inch, five inch. And you see Christians are wearing it. I want to be smart. I am smart for the world. You, as a child, all these beads shine, shine stones on your shoes. Don't put them on. All this high heel, all this shine, shine, glitter. So you can have some shine, shiny um, eye on your shoe. That is not a problem. But when you have these stores, these bling bling stores on it, no, those beads on it, no. You can have a buckle that have a gold on it, not flamboyant, but medium one, it's okay. But when you go and buy those ones that have big, like now I saw some sisters that went one that have big chain. They call it design, slippers, have big man than him. You will see yourself landing in here. Ungodly activities in the church, yes. All these things they give you for signs and wonders, apron, anointing oil, water. Can you imagine that the, that the apron, so you don't turn their head upside down. That you can see a, a, a potter potter. You say, you're doing, is Jesus a dirty girl? Is that how to do for, is that how to say, I'm at the grace for Jesus? Is that, is that how to show it? It's because something is not right. That is not how to serve God. Bullets will not enter you. It's just lie. It's just fake. It's money making so that millions of people will order for it and say, oh, who don't want to die? Who want to die? They will buy one yet, order April. It's money making, it's business. We, only are, we are only protected in Christ. And if God says you will die through bullets, you will die through bullets. So just be born again Christian. Don't listen to some pastors that will deceive you. Holy water. These are things to make money. And you are believing it. You buy it and put it in your house and be drinking. You are not praying again. You are very prayerless. Little thing, bring that water, bring that water and fill it. Something moving on my body. My body. Hey, my stomach can be purging throughout today. Give me holy water, not flagging again. You heard that TB Joshua was doing. We deceive you and say, it will give you water that will heal your HIV. Where you go, you will die. You will not be taking your drugs. These are liars. Some of them, they sacrifice you to give you to their demon, to give them more power. So they will tell you something that will kill you and they will take your soul. Be smart. Amen. Let's go very fast. No time. All these bands, put it in your hand. You will be protected. Hey, I'm a child. See the person where they say, bullets, don't they enter? See and lie down there. Bullets pass through the apron. See him die now. You see, ba? He's dead there now. And the person is snapping to show the world. See the bullet proof, oh? Pastors are out of the way. You that you are worshiping statue. You say it's Mary. Mary is in heaven. Mary don't know what is happening on earth. Mary is just a normal saint like you that will make heaven. We are all one before Christ. Mary is not God that will pray for anybody. So you that you are wasting your time. Jesus has to come and tell all of you that about your image. Kiss uh, any saint image. You are, a, you are an idol worshiper. When you die, they will charge you as idol worshiper. They will judge you as an idol worshiper. And you will go to hell. See this man. They will be telling, kiss Jesus. Now, is that Jesus? Is that Jesus? So that is the deception. You carry, some of you have it big in your room, the statue of Mary in your parlor. And when you come any day, you bow to the statue. Jesus, welcome, good evening. You are, you are an idol worshiper. See this one. They say when the candle finish on his body, sorrow, his suffering will go. You don't know that the suffering is starting. They will deceive you people. You waste your time. You will not study the word of God. You will not have time to pray to God to reveal you. You will not have time to listen to the word of God. You will be going and be following this deception. They are suffering. This is satanic suffering. Is that how Jesus was delivering people, burning candle on their body, dancing on the people with trust and see the kind of trust. How will pastors who will not be sleeping with them? Some of you will be in, the, in that kind of church and you will be dancing, spraying money on them. Any church like this, you are there, you are laughing, you are part of them. You will be crying for them. Who are they dancing to? Jesus, no, a holy God. And he has said it's an abomination. See a pastor woman, Joyce Mayer, everybody Joyce Mayer. See the way she dressed. God is not with her in this kind of attire. In fact, she need, if, in fact, she, she needs to know. You, you believe that anybody that just called Jesus, say, not all that say, Lord, Lord, shall enter into the kingdom. So tell you that there are people that will be calling Lord, Lord, but they will not enter. Seek to know who are the people that will enter. See miracle. Is that to do miracle? They are marching on the man's head. Have Jesus, did Jesus did anything like that? Any of the apostles beat people to be delivered? Our, most of our pastors in this generation, the demon in them is a wicked demon because demon hates humanity. So they will be doing wickedness to you and you will be saying it's delivered. The demon hates you. you go there, the demon that is inside the pastor will punch you, blow you like this, kick you. God will just be crying. 
to deliver somebody. Wake up from your slumber. Deliver yourself from this false doctrine. This is dancing. Go to church and dance, dance. No word of God that will change you. You see the woman? She there for night club. See her? That is it. That is it. That's why some of you like those churches. Anything will say you will not believe because when you go there, you say, I'm going to ease off my stress through dance. I will dance my stress of Sia. Is that how to dance? When you ask now, they say, oh no, she's dancing as David dance. Is that how David dance? Did you see how David dance? Did they have the video of how David dance? These are all carnality in the church. Flesh. How many men are looking at her now, whining a bonbon? Can you see a married woman? A pastor too will be there watching at her, lost everywhere, immorality taught. Please desist from those things. Don't defile the house of God or else the judgment, all of you that the devil used to defy the house of God will come upon you, the judgment. Quickly just play the message, just play the video, I'm running out, no time again. This one is Pastor Chris Yekilome, I think just one month ago or a week ago. Again. Now that I've given my life to Jesus Christ, I've become born again. My pastor said I have to send my second wife away, one of my wives away, which is the second. So, pastor, please clarify me. Is it true? You, will, you people that like miracle pastor, hear him now. Here's another one from John Mapa from South Africa. He says, I married two wives according to my culture and my previous. <laughs> Wonderful. Um, because. If you already married them, them before and you give your life to Christ, God did not say you should send them, you should stay with them. And then the other pastor said, it's a way of making, in fact, increasing to the membership, winning more souls. Now you have two wives, you are carrying two souls to God. He said, hey, yes, it's all part of evangelism. So there is no need to send them away. Keep the two wives, you see? And when God has said, this thing is a sin, having two wives. Second married, when your first wife, you are, you are here, you are a pastor, you'll be angry with me, Sister Linda. Why are you talking, judging men of God? We are not judging them. We are revealed. God is using us to reveal it so that you will not go and be crying here and say, God, why you did not send somebody to us to tell us that this pastor, I believe, is a man of God was not. You know, for you to be thanking and say, ah, I never knew that this pastor, I believe, I'm maybe following him up and down. I never knew he preached like this. Yes, he have told you. And that's so we go to hell. Because you are sinning against the world. Someone go there and say, this is my papa. Let me take you to our papa. Hey, our papa get power. He will give you anointing by washing his head. He's removing his trouble and giving to you. It's out their hand. You go there. In fact, some of you keep yourself busy watching their program on TV. Holiness is too bothering. Holiness is too hot. You tune to some of these fake pastors where they will do prophecy for money. Now you sit down two hours, four hours, be watching all this let wrestling call anointing and you say you are a child of god you waste god time watching these people the last one then we close yes a sorcery uh, how they call it abalis in ghana you promise to give me this you promise to give me this and you are using my gods to do power miracle now i've come to take my gods you will see the gods they are going to bring. The pastor will go and bring the gods. Police come there. Is it true you have this Abalis man, God? He say yes. Or you are going to bring the God. He was begging Papa. He was begging Daddy, please. The, the Abalis said, no, don't beg me. Don't beg me. Give me my God. And they went and bring stone. You leave the... Star ...in charismatic churches around This the one, world. you know it in Anambra, that is busy breaking people back there because that's what I say. It's wrestling. And people are going there. Say it's doing miracle. This is everything. By external spiritual forces that are unknown. Pastors, apostles. Pregnancy to her. Receive, receive pregnancy. Fruit of the womb. But this expose tells us where this she is pregnant now. powers come from. You see how, how people Not waste their time? He is a well known priest in his native Ghana with a surname which if I say I Juju to do their check, it's not blow your phones. But I can never say that when you come to my shrine. I will to do you know how many pastors that they come to me, give them powers. I'm not standing here to mention names. I have most of uh, about 
4,932 pastors in the world that I'll give them powers. What happened to me? What happened? Is then that we evoke the spirit in you. Every, you think you can spoil God? Even more, I'm fighting myself. God will not bring me that one. So never you say you are spoiling the church because you don't have the power. Amen. So now I'm ending here, showing you where you will end if you continue to harden your heart to the truth. If you continue in your witchcraft, unforgiveness. If you continue to be disrespectful to your husband, continue to be stubborn to the house of God, continue to be lawless, leadership is for you, you are a woman, people are tired with you, your neighbors are tired with you, you your husband is tired with you, the time will come when God too will get tired with you and dump you in hell. And if you go to hell, you that don't believe that attachment, perfume, makeup, lipstick, seductive dressing, shine, shine on your cloth. We have told you, why are you putting shine, shine on your cloth? It's because you still have that wall of dignity. I want to be, I am. They didn't see me. When you go to the market to buy those clothes, they are costlier. They, they less that don't have. Word of God, I've, I've been decreasing you. Success, progress. Don't go and waste the time of prayer, warrior. You change your lifestyle. Go back and say, God, I'm and you still go back with your hardy heart. Go back to your second husband. Go back with your jewelry. Go back with your gossip, your backbiting, your unforgiveness lifestyle. And your indecent will end. This is where you will end. Tomorrow you will not say God I did not know. The horror hell of hell. Real. Reduce it. The horror of hell. The horrors of hell. Horrible place. A terrible place. A fearful place. Please. As you are watching this. Before you play it, just a day ago, or what I think it was, the husband just came down from the car, want to enter a holistic clinic here for treatment. Let me finish. The woman drank the tea his phone. The woman finished drinking the tea, relax. The man finished what he's doing on the phone. He said, okay, mommy, let's go now. Get up, let's go and get ready. It's late for the church. He was shocking the wife. The wife had died. It's just a, some kind of death like this. You, even when they tell you, you'll be asking what happened. Getting, you collapse. You can sleep good night and never wake up again. So, you know, unprepared soul. But you prepare to meet your God any minute, any hour. In the morning, before going to bed, in the night time, you are bathroom, in your kitchen. What you do, what you say, check yourself that cherish it. In the name of Jesus, let's play the video for you to know that this place is real. Hell is real. This is a place. Those, Those who did not have their this name is written hell. in the book of the living were thrown into the lake of fire. Revelation 2015. Cowards, traitors, perverts, murderers. It's a Muslim immoral. boy that just died. Those who that is the magic. movie. Worship idols and all liars. He's seen the a place he have never seen in his life, or even imagined. Fire and sulfur, which is this the is second hell. death. Revelation Please do fast. To eight. It's a place where you will ne you have ne you you will not even imagine a place is like. You see what they are doing to others. The demon have come to carry him for his own torture. I told you like that. This is just one week somebody sent it to me. I cry fresh because it's like it's playing my, my own experience, like somebody was televising me. This is the liquid fire. I said, God, how? I wish people would believe this thing. This is the soul. The father is busy praying on his body. The son is in hell. Go and cry on your children. Hard thing that we are not happy with your behavior, with your lifestyle. No matter what you do for your children, if you don't give them heaven, it's waste. Because they will not live on this earth for, for 100 years. But where you would make them to go hellfire is for more than 20 billion years. Inside fire. You see? The fire will be melting you. You are drinking fire. You are burning. When I saw this, I walk away. I was crying. My gate man came and said, Mommy, what happened? Who died? I just saw. I was crying. Because the person make me recall, 
refresh my memory. This is here. When I was there, what I saw with my eyes, what I passed through, I never believed me I will see this wall again or I will live again. See, the father is praying. Muslim. See the son. He's praying for the son. See the son there. See the sun inside hellfire. You will be lying here. Your parents, your friends will be, oh, may your soul go in perfect peace. They don't know you are in sorrow. They will be thinking you are, hey, he was even smiling. She was smiling. Hey, they don't know you are in hell. The parents are praying. See him in hell suffering. They are pulling his eyes. See how the demon are breaking. This is for lying. They are slicing her tongue. When I saw this video, I said the people that they, you see how they are cutting her tongue for lying. Worldliness. They are splitting her into two. I took they have removed her hand. She's surprised. She's looking. Is in my hand they have removed. I said I was surprised when my body was splitting into two. I look at myself and say, what is happening to me? Jesus, what is happening to me? Why my body is melting? And then all of a sudden, my body will be whole again. I am telling you about hell. I'm not telling you about somebody's story. It's my story. It's what that happened to me and changed me. Out for my body and enter hell. I was tortured. I was beaten. I was pierced through my anus. I was poured with fire. Everything about me was done. It's only the mystery of God that we, you and I can never understand. That make me that acting it, drawing it, dramatize, dramatize my experience in hell. See what is happening. Your soul will come out of your body and go and stand before God. Your sinful life will be playing. All your secret life. They say you are a witch, you are denying I'm not a witch, I'm not a witch. Time will come, you don't need to deny the whole world will see your nakedness. In fact, you'll be wishing to say, Father, send me back, I will confess. I will not be ashamed of the church. In fact, whatever people want to say, I will say I'm a witch, but now you are, you are, you are proud. You are say, they say I'm a witch, I'm a witch. Time will come very soon. You will not, in fact, you'll be, you'll be angry with those that are a witch or you are a wizard. Time will come. God is keeping you, he's telling you. You don't know it was a grace. See him. All this life, secret life, is where you drink blood. When you are stealing, when you are fighting your husband, when you are lying against somebody, when you are stealing, they will play it for you. So that when you are going to the hell, when they will be torturing you, you will not say, God, you are wicked. You will only say, God, have mercy on me. I had in my heart, God, I will not do it again. Jesus, show me mercy, but it will be too late. Because God said, you had in your heart. You are stealing my money. I'll be talking leaders, leaders. You know you are tampering, and then you will rise up. Mommy Linda, oh, for you to repent and say, God has found me. God, I repent. Pride and shame will not allow you to come out and confess. Say, yes, I'm a sinner. I'm not qualified to be a unit leader, the overseer. I'm a sinner. I did this. I have masturbation. But no, a member, a worker. Sin is everywhere around you. But because of I'm a worker, how will I do? They will laugh at me. You will cry in hell. As soon as you enter the fire, you become like a fry fish, but you will not die. You will not die. That is the thing that you need to be sitting and thinking. I told people, go to your house. Stand by your fire. If you can put your hand in your fire, the hand is burning, melting, and you still can endure, then you can endure in hell. But even the heat alone, you will say, why? This heat is too much. Oil, oil pour on you. You will be shouting, don't go to hell. This is just a pinch on your body. In hell, you will be sinking in the fire. Fire will cover you. Your body will be melting like, 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 like leather. That is it. Can you stand? Can you stand? 
because of anger, because of dwelling, because of makeup, because of husband, second wife. You don't want to leave that man. Because of anger, because of masturbation, because of gossip, pride. Worship me, I'm, I'm the Lord. Oh, you are in the house of God. No peace because of unruly attitude. You are not changing. You will cry. Lying tongues. You are lying. Which wizard you have assigned your meeting? Time will come. You will eat your own food. Bow to the devil. You will hate the day you came here. All these conferences for a year, you did not repent. You will regret that day. You will regret that day. You, as a widow, because of responsibility, you have gone to take care of us. She went. Why? No God. Because of responsibility. Oh, my children. And she's a, she was a Muslim. This is what is happening to you. I'm a widow. Nobody should take care of me. You started compromising. Your own widow is going up and down. For your children, you can die and leave your children. Their responsibility is in the hand of God. To take care of us. When our father dies, my children will not suffer. I will do all for my children. But today, she died. And God judged her as a sinner. Because God said, my hand is not short to help you. But you sin against me. And now she's in hell. But look at me standing here. I am eating, I'm drinking water, but she's not. Because of me. Don't sell your soul for nobody. Not your child, not your husband. Nobody deserves you more than God. You will be doing all to please your children. Compromising the standard of God. I love my children, I love my children. You die, God is going to judge you. A lie did not sin against God, but the children making to sin against God. Because of a compromise for your children, a lie is in hell now today. He's regretting the day he have children. That he loves the children more than God. You are playing with your children. As you are playing, God is marking. If you are frowned with them, if you are hard with them, if you are crying, if you are talking to them, God will know you, you, you have tried. But some of you, you are not doing anything. You love them so much. You don't want to hurt them. Take it easy. God will going to hold you responsible. You think it was an easy place. Go to hell. And I will be here to purge those that want to be purged. I know they have foxes in their life. It can put pride and shame aside. If one matter how their sin is black like coal, tell them, my daughter, I am in the camp. I'm ready to forgive them and give them more gifts. The Lord is ready for you. So you that you are there, you know you need Jesus in your life. You know there are little foxes in your life, greater foxes in your life. And truly you have anger, you have bad word. Truly you are uncontrolled. Truly you dread. Ask God for mercy. Tell the Lord, Lord, show me mercy. Jesus, show me mercy. Deliver my soul. Sanctify me, Lord. Father, purify me. For years, I've not been listening to a message. I don't even have time to study the word of God. I cannot even quote any scripture again. Truly, I've left the word of God. Papa, I'm a Christian by word, but not by works. I only dress holy, but I'm not holy. My attitude, everything is sinful. I lie. I commit sin. Father, there are many things I've covered up. But I only dress to deceive people because people have known me to be holy. Father, have mercy on me. God, I naked myself today. Since those days, I was initiated when I was small. Lord, I don't know how to come out. Jesus, show me mercy. I don't want to be a witch again. Truly, I'm a witch. But Lord, I want to come out. I don't want to go to hell. Ready for that? You will see the Lord will change you. But if you had in your heart, you'll be destroyed. A time will come, you say, Mommy Linda said, The department of witch, witchcraft, they showed me. Wizards and witches. The Lord show you mercy in Jesus' name. Thank you, Daddy. Thank you. Thank you.
Jesus name this is a matter of personal decision because it will involve many things for example if you are married a second wife to your husband it will involve leaving that marriage because you don't want to go to hell if you have stolen anything you will want to return it because you don't want to go to hell if there's any secret agreement between you and someone you will want to reveal it you don't want to go to hell if you are into witchcraft you will not mind dying so that God should forgive you you don't mind whether they kill you that day it takes decision that's why many will come and go back nothing change because heaven didn't recognize your decision you didn't take any strong decision you quarrel with some people you have to go and settle with them you borrowed money, go and pay it. Because you don't want to go to hellfire. So it, it, it's a decision. You are walking in the wrong place. And where you are walking, maybe you are uh, this, uh, you have a saloon. A bond people's here, used to hear attachment. And all. You won't do it again. You are destroying humanity. It's a decision to serve Jesus. It's not just coming forward like this. Many have come forward and gone back. They have remained. And for many years. And it's unfortunate that many, you know, the Bible says how, says how hard is it for the rich man to enter heaven. It's because the more you grow up, the more you feel too big to do some things. He it says for common people. So many are standing in their sins. They are still in their sins, but they cannot come out. They are big already. They are big already. How would they come out so that people should see them? No, 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 no. They won't go to go and give them Mr. Biggs in the corner somewhere. And God said, until you come down from where you are, I go to where the humble man is, not where the proud person is. So this is the decision. And if you have evil spirits, you have other things to do with demons, come back and let us know. We will do special prayers for your life without hiding it. And when you come, say exactly how you say, don't come and tell lies, you are dreaming dreams. That is a dream. Tell exactly the way it is. So to test up Jesus, go and sit down and count the cost. So go and plan and sit down and decide whether you want to serve Jesus. It's costly. Some of you, your husband, it will become battle with your husband. But it's better than hellfire. Whatever they can do to your life today. It may involve your marriage being spoiled or leave my house. It doesn't compare to heaven, nor compare to the sorrows of hell. So it's a serious matter. I wish to say, just go back and uh, sit down and decide whether you want to be a Christian. Some of you, it involves changing your church. Because as far as your church is concerned, forget it. Even pastor will not leave you alone. So involve changing your to marry who is not a Christian. You will break it. I have decided to follow Jesus. I have decided to follow Jesus. Yes, I have decided.
never turning back. I have decided. Yes, I have decided. Yes, I have decided. Lay hand upon yourself. Let me pray for you. Almighty Father, these are people with precious souls that are living on earth a land of sin and Satan who has have great grip upon them, putting them into different kinds of sins of deciding to follow Jesus. And them, one by one, to sit down and count the cost. Am I ready to serve this Jesus? I now know him, but I face this thing that nobody knows. Uh, will I reveal my colleagues that with God that he will make me live or if help them to take it? Yeah. Father, the grace of our Lord Jesus the love of our Lord God Amen. and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit Amen. be with these people. Amen. Give them salvation. Amen. Give them deliverance. Amen. In Jesus, the gifts have come. Amen. Yours is Jesus now. The evangelist should know that their gift is on the way.